Yes, we are. Dude, we made it. We barely made it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hang tight. We're going to begin in just a few seconds. Virtual Entertainment Programming Network. TVEPN.com. Studios, The Slam Show. And now, your host, Slam. Yeah, welcome everyone to another edition of The Slam Show for April 9th, 2012. I am the Commander-in-Chief, Slamster. As we begin every show, we go ahead and introduce all my co-hosts that bring the fire on all the Mondays. First off, we have, let's have a big round of applause for Lady Sage. Sage, Sage, Sage. <laughs> and back as a special guest host after a little hiatus <laughs> is DJ Pistol Pete. Hello, everybody. Good to see yeah. you. Good to see you. Oh, no applause for him. That's fucked up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> One <-handed clap>. <laughs> <laughs> they just fucked you over there, Pete. Oh, it was a golf clap. Sorry. A golf clap. <laughs> they gave you the old That's traditional funny. golf Whoa, clap. Look at that Wild 107 jacket over there. That's oh, you pretty like cool. that? Yeah. I'll, I'll sport that in a second. <laughs> <laughs> in the sound booth, we have my partner, the incomparable DJ Stallion. Yo. What up? What up? <laughs> and yeah, Italian Al Stallion. I'm sorry. No, no, his, no. Sh his shirt says Italian Stallion. Yeah, I was like, woo -woo. Yeah, he <laughs> is the Italian stallion, all yellowed out like Bruce Lee's tracksuit. This is Rocky Balboa <laughs> 76 logo, fool. That's a classic, dude. Yeah. I'm glad that you're sporting it. Yeah. It's like the freaking supernova in the freaking sound booth right now. Yep, yep. And our special guest. Fly Penai. <laughs> the Fly Penai. Oh, gosh. How should I get into this real quick? I've known <laughs> oh, this no. chick forever since yeah. 1993 yeah that yeah. pretty much dates us that's almost oh like yeah. 20 years man something like that something it like is 20 years it is. Yeah. it's more than that 92 is when i met her that's yeah, right yeah, yeah. 92 93 is yeah when let's I got just round it off 20 years yeah 20 <laughs> years <laughs> let's have a big round of applause for 99 7 now air personality fresca, fresca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's up you guys thanks for having me well, thank Thanks you for, for being us. able to come out. I'm yes. excited. I'm excited. Oh, shoot. You're freaking all decked out, all super sexy. Mm -hmm. Isn't she? Oh, hell? my goodness. What is going thank on you. here? Yeah, it's going to a fashion show later. <laughs> They're going out to a club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> City nights. Oh, shit. <laughs> City nights. Oh, my goodness. DV8. DV8. Yeah. Wow. Mission Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> well, check, check this out. Oh, wow. Fresca, you're part of the Built to Grind Revolution. Yes. That DL the Arson has put together. Yes. He is a great individual. That whole company is off the hook. And guess what? He was able to put together mm -hmm. a slam show theme song. I'm going to go ahead and yes. play it right now. Please do. Ooh, ooh. This, That's my boy. Yeah. It, he totally took this to a whole new level. Because that's what he does, man. Yeah. Oh, man. That's what he Crank does. Crank it up. Check this out. This is It's the Slam Show by DL the Arson. I did a little DJ edit at the beginning. Okay. That way you can mix it in. Enjoy everyone. And see Stallion Groove. <laughs> huh. It's the slam show. It's the slam show. It's the slam show. Work set Monday nights for damn show. TVEPN.com. Built to grind. Dio to arson. It's the slam show, they get it cracking. It's the slam show, where we be laughing. It's the slam show, there's no acting. It's the real thing, man. Let's rock. The slam show every Monday night is where it's popping. Special guests, different topics. ABM, they be rocking. TVEPN.com is where it's at. 
hear some jokes, have a laugh from questions that is asked. Slamming Sam plays the jams to get you bouncing. Beware, cause DJ Stallion will get the crowning. Better have some humor, they'll surprise you, man. What you mean? Especially if you're not a no, nine 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 fan. Empire. There's no show like him with a crazy ways. Shout out to the lovely lady say She holds it down for the women. It's obvious they be winning from Monday night shows to Redux when they spinning. No bull, no bull. like nitro liquid. They so cool. so cool. I advise you visit their website, their page. Bet you won't complain. They the only thing to look forward to on a Monday. Huh. It's a slam show. It's a slam show. It's the slam show. We're set Monday nights for damn show. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Putting it down, DL. Yeah, yeah. We like it. <laughs> yeah. DL the Arson. Mm-hmm. It's the Slam Show theme song. Thank you very much for putting that together. It is fire. Wow. Man, when did he do that? He, I think he did it last week. <laughs> he, he he was really on a busy schedule, but I told him, hey, Fresca's going to be on. <laughs> so you're gonna have to, Thank you, DL. You're going to have to kind of like buckle down yeah, and man. get this executed because we need to have it on the air when she comes on. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what? I mean, I just want to... Can I just say something real quickly? Go ahead. I mean, he's... I have to say that uh, he, he's given me so much love and um, being part of the Built to Grind team is just awesome. So mm-hmm. I'm very proud of him and proud of everybody on the team. So I just wanted to make sure Absolutely. that I gave them love. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. When we do your interview segment later on, you're, you're going to plug... All your involvement, oh, all okay. the connections that you have cool. with Built to Grind okay. and how that whole movement is kind of developing and yes. so forth. So we can't wait for that. So as we do at every introduction, we talk about our weekend happenings. Uh, me and Sage, we just worked in the studio, mm-hmm. did music, created some new stuff that's going to yep. be coming out for the upcoming Slam Show album, which are going to feature tracks yes. from our guests, such as DL to Arson and, and a few others. BTME. Exactly. So all yeah. these tracks we're working on. So it's going to be a great project when it comes out. Stallion. Yo. You had a pretty mellow weekend, but you went to go check out a movie, right? Yeah, I did. I saw American Reunion on Friday. <laughs> How was, was that? It was cool. Actually, cool. You know, they brought back all the uh, original people. Mm-hmm. And it was just kind of like you time warped it back 10 years ago when it, it was out, you know, originally. Yeah, what I heard is actually a 13-year reunion, and they put a little spin to it like they screwed up on the the dates or something like that, right? Well, yeah, it was like, because they said in the movie 2013. Uh Uh-huh. So maybe they were planning on dropping it then, Mm -hmm. but they, you know, they just put it out a little sooner. But it was cool. You know, it had, you know, the sense of humor that they did back then, you know. Did they bring back the pie? (laughs) <laughs> they mentioned the, they mentioned the pie. It wasn't the same pie from the other sh- for the first yeah. show. Oh my goodness! It was they all did, kept in freaking they plastic. Did, they did mention the pie. Um, you know, Stifler was Stifler. You know, doing his thing. So it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Hey, wh- was freaking Harold in it? Yeah. John Chu oh yeah. John Every, everyone was in it. Yeah. Everyone was in the movie. Wow. They had cameos from everyone. Everybody wow. was in the movie. It was it was definitely uh, cool. So it's a must see for all the uh, American Pie original fans. Yeah. Yeah. If you were watching that back then, you got to see it. I mean, mm. for all the generation young kids now, they wouldn't really get it unless they watched it. You know, when it first started. Because mm-hmm. I know they got a bunch of spin offs like you know college years and all that crap. Mm. That yeah. It went straight to <laughs> DVD and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Or, or straight to uh, FX. <laughs> <laughs> straight, or right. nowadays straight to Netflix. I was yeah. gonna say that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> straight the red box that's so funny. so you box. saw that on the friday night I saw it on friday what happened to thursday night thursday night we were I, I, i'm backing up though remember yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to see the 12 o'clock and then oh yeah yeah so this is what happened was uh, me and pete were at redux pete was spinning okay and then uh when he got done with his set we you know got done and jumped into cars and headed over to the theater and i pulled up before him and i the, the guy was there and i'm like hey dude are you guys showing the midnight show and he's like man no one even showed up so we're not gonna do it oh uh, what and this was just funny because when, when I was leaving, he was trying to catch me and say he was going to let us all in the theater, oh. right? For free? For free. Wow. So when I went back the oh. next day uh, with his lady. Um, with his lady. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah. date night. Oh, date Ooh. Very pretty Uh-oh. lady. <laughs> and, uh, I can say her name, Patty. Okay. So, um, Patty, <laughs> shout, shout out, out to you, Patty. Patty, Patty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, girl. So check it out. <laughs> and then, uh, cake, Patty, Patty cake. cake. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the tickets, you know, and I went, I went back outside to get some like uh popcorn and stuff and then mm-hmm. john was like he just handed me like a big th- uh, free, free popcorn he goes i mean i apologize for last night you know i was gonna you know let you guys in but you took off so fast mm. so he was gonna let it actually let us three in there to watch the movie me okay. Pete and his date yeah okay nice. 
Third wheel special, huh? Yeah. Nice. I like that. <laughs> Third wheel special. Right on, it's right a on. barrel. No, we had a fourth wheel. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, my friend. Yeah, yeah. So I was telling her. <laughs> oh, so you guys are just so <laughs> discombobulated. Yeah. I, I want you guys yeah. to meet her, actually. She's Filipino. Oh, wow. Like, like that. what? She's Is what? that special? She's beautiful. She's what? Oh, what nationality? That's so sweet. Filipino. Uh oh. Hey. Hey. Uh-oh. Hey, you know Filipino. Because I'm taking her to Filipino Heritage Night, <laughs> May 2nd. <laughs> Giants, we're all going, right? Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Slam show field trip. Slam <laughs> show in the bleachers with the banner out there in nice. the outfield, right? We're going to go in Fresco's oh, freaking cool. SUV. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I don't care okay. about baseball. Oh. I, just, I just want my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Sorry. I, I got some funny shit. So, Saturday. <laughs> I, I forgot about Saturday, yo. <laughs> so um, Saturday, uh, my boy uh, Big Pete, you know, has his uh, company called Bike Works, and I met him and Savage down there, downtown Martinez, yeah, for some bike rally thing they had going on, detailing motorcycles. Mm-hmm. And then later that night, I had a party I had to do for the escort. You know, I was escorting some strippers. Yeah, um, you were telling me about that. How'd that turn out? It it was cool. It was at the Weston Hotel. The sisters. Okay. The sisters. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pete couldn't go because he was already on a date at the Warriors game, but. Um, <laughs> And he's obligated. So uh, we got to the hotel and everything was cool. You know, I had valet parking and this hotel is like really high end. We get to the room. Uh-huh. I brought my iPad and hooked up the little speakers because you can't have it very loud in there. So magic everything, bullet. Everything was going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she used that later. Um, what? Wow. He, he got everybody magic bullets for Christmas. <laughs> Not that kind of bullet. Uh-huh. Bastos. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a mu- it's called a magic mu- music bullet. Yeah. Sam has one too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so oh, um, you busting me out on that, brother. <laughs> so the party I'm all quiet here now. You so busting me out. It's all bad now because I already have a, a is visual. That the, is that the dildo looking thing I saw yeah, in, the, in the in the in the garage? And it makes no. It I mean, makes music. So. Yeah. yeah it's and a weird it makes dildo. music. Music wow. comes out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam has it, but he give you probably regifted it. Uh, oh, that dude, is nasty, I just dude. said That's I saw it in the garage. What the fuck's it doing in the garage? It's brand new. It's already broken. I use the bullet every day. We could use it on the music video. Now you finish your story. Check it out. Check Sorry. it out. <laughs> so we're in the room. We're on the fifth floor, and this hotel has like 30 floors or some shit like that. Damn. And in the in the, uh, the party's going on. The g- there's only like eight dudes. It's a bachelor party, and everyone's being quiet. They're not yelling or screaming. And we get the knock at the door. Mm-hmm. So we're thinking, okay, maybe like there's another friend. So these two dudes in a suit, or I can hear them. You guys need to get out of here. And I'm like, oh shit. So I told the girls to go around the corner, get ready, get dressed. And um, I told the guy, what about our warning? And he went up to the guy in the suit. He goes, this is your warning. There was like no final warning, no phone calls, and nothing. They just straight kicked us out of the party early. What? Yeah. So it was straight, straight stupid. Okay, oh. that wasn't fun. This was security that did that. Like, yeah, cause they, have no, they have a no, they have no tolerance, no party. I guess were the girls acting all stupid no, when no, you guys no, walked no. through the lobby and shit? Not sure. at all. Everyone's, you know, they came all, you know, in their sweats and stuff. You know, kind of like Fresco when she showed up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that'll be in the uh, behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they, yeah, you know, I took those pictures. They, they look normal. We, <laughs> and video. And they had shit going on all that night in that, in that hotel. You know, they had like a wedding on the second floor, and they had all these model girls running around with the, these little banners on and stuff. So. I don't know what they missed. Somebody complained in the next room. They That's heard lame. the music because mm-hmm. it wasn't loud. No one was screaming. They were all like mellow dudes. Mellow. Yeah. So then we got. I got out early. So okay. So I was like, you know, and then Sunday Easter, I had to work at the uh, the gym, and then later that night, I went to my parents for Easter dinner, and then I was just like done. Right on. Tired. Yeah. Nice. So you that had was a the full crazy weekend. Crazy Very weekend. Busy. Yeah. Stallion. So, what? Pistol oh, yeah. Pete, let's talk about yours. Wrap it up real quick. No, my weekend was great. <laughs> Seriously, with my kids and their grandma, you know, who's, is, it's probably going to be their last Easter. So, I love you, Nini. Oh. Very much. Cool, cool. Yep. And Easter was awesome. And let's talk about this. And I just got back from spring training. You know, that's where I was for all these, this whole time. Spring training, baseball, yeah. science. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to touch on he your insights on the team, on but, the you know, at least he went out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to um, start a, a fantasy baseball league, too, so. Let you know about that. I, th- I think it's kind of too late. Wow. No, no, you can start it. You could. Uh, you, I know if you're, you know, a week or two late, it's okay. I guess it's a long. So. It's a long season. That's There's true. 160 games left. 159 wow. actually. That's right. Do your math right there. Fresca and I, we don't know anything know. about baseball. <laughs> Fresca, <laughs> yes. How was your weekend? My weekend was good. It was good. Uh, I don't know if you guys are into The Secret. Have you heard the book, The Secret? I have yeah. seen the movie. Okay. So you know, basically says uh, if you want something to happen or you want something, you gotta gotta really, you know. Pretend like you already have it kind of deal, right? Gotcha. So um, I have this thing about like being married someday. Mm-hmm. So um, I went as far as trying wedding dresses on. Not this weekend, but in order for me to have tried wedding dresses on, I had to make a fake wedding date, which was April Ooh. 7th, 
which was this past Saturday. Oh. So I was on the air uh, at 99.7. And then when I got off the air at 3, I went to the 5 o'clock mass afterwards at uh, Grace Cathedral. And then, you know, kind of imagined myself there with my imaginary husband, whatever. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> and then uh, after that, I went back to the house. I got into my sweatpants because that's what I love to wear. Mm-hmm. And uh, went to the gym and then um, was there t- for about two hours or whatever. And then... Um, Came home next day was Easter. Was on the air again from uh, three to eight at night, and yeah, pretty mellow. Pretty mellow, pretty but pretty mellow. active and interesting. Interesting. This whole yeah. like secret <laughs> connection attraction yeah, thing. Yeah. Make Actually, believe. DL is the one that got me into that whole secret thing. So oh, so it was DL that got you the whole secret connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was you for some reason. That got him into the whole... Yeah. Th- no, it was the other way around. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that later. Okay. Someone stole my DVD. I had that back in like 2006. <laughs> really? And they went missing. Yeah. Is it that old? Yeah. yeah. Wow, I slept on that. Yeah. You, you I'm lost. I don't know what you guys <laughs> are talking about. I was like, yeah, uh-huh. Like, well, weird. don't worry. Freaking <laughs> Pistol Pete's totally lost as well. <laughs> <laughs> secrets. What secrets? I know. The secret. Well, just a little lost on the whole wedding thing where you're on, you know, wondering about your wedding. Oh, okay. Just real quick. So it's like basically the secret says if um, if you really want something, like for example, say it's a new car, yeah. then, uh, you know, it's a whole law of attraction thing. So if you want a car, then you, Steal they it. say, <laughs> 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 they say, go to a, you know, go to a, a dealership, sit in the car you know and basically think positive thoughts and then that car will come to you somehow kind of hmm. deal you know like you'll you'll get the funds for it or you know whatever yeah. so you know that whole like, wedding the keys thing. In it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna get, are you gonna get married here pretty soon or what uh, no i don't i don't i don't know I don't know. I'm basically waiting for that, you know. She's just formulating the whole secret yeah. theory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trying to make that Manifesting it. Yeah. There it I is. That's manifesting the word. it. Manifesting yeah. the whole secret deal. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I did. Was it a good experience? You know, it was. It was actually kind of a bittersweet thing because, you know, you sit, I, I was sitting there and I'm like, you know, the reality of it is I'm there alone, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, but just imagining when that day happens is going to be really great. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've all been there, don't it? <laughs> and done that. Oh. Yeah, Somebody's or bitter. Oh. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of bitterness in this. He ate a lemon. That's there why you go. haven't seen Pete in ten years. <laughs> know, right? Oh wow! There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, excellent guys. We had a great insight on this past weekend. We're going to go ahead and take a quick commercial break and be back with the sports segment here on the Slam Show. Everyone, hang tight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Here we go. Business car. Business car. Business car. Flyers, flyers, flyers. Graphic design, graphic design, graphic design. Marketing and advertising. Visit us at www.baymanda.com or give us a call at 650-571-5100. Baymanda offers 5,000 UV coated club flyers starting at just $99.99. Place your orders today for rock bottom prices at baymanda.com. And now you know who's best. If your child is not breathing, roll them onto their back. Check airway is not blocked. Gently tilt head back. Hold nose and breathe twice into mouth. Place heel of hand in center of chest and push down 15 times. Repeat breathing and chest massage until help arrives. If your child is not You know how to help your child if they've stopped breathing. But do you know how to help them if they have a drug problem? Visit drugfree.org for information, help, and advice. This message brought to you by the partnership at drugfree.org. Quality never goes out of style. And the quality of the Paul Frederick White Pinpoint Oxford dress shirt at just nineteen ninety five will make it the staple of your wardrobe. This special introductory offer won't last forever, so act now to get the quality, comfort, and style you can only get from the Paul Frederick White Pinpoint Oxford dress shirt. Order today and receive free monogramming, a nine seventy five value. Go to nineteen ninety five shirt dot com and enter promo code collar. That's nineteen ninety five shirt dot com promo code collar. This season, take tailgating to the next level with Mr. and Mrs. T Mixers. Hand off some Bloody Mary mix in original, bold, and spicy, and premium blend varieties. Delivering true made-from-scratch taste with game day convenience. Mr. and Mrs. T Mixers promise perfect cocktails, even if the season isn't. Goodyear presents awkward conversations between guys in cars. So you admit you have tire amnesia. Yes, I have tire amnesia. Aha. I do not remember what brand of tire I happen to have on my own car. Eh, it's like you don't care. Dude, I now, do... see, the thing is, experts, people who really put their tires to the test, like NASCAR, they don't have tire amnesia. But I'm not an expert. Because ex- NASCAR prefers Goodyear tires. I'm not an expert. Oh, and the first tires on the moon... 
good years, chosen by NASA. Heard of NASA? Yes. Will it make you happy if we pull over and see what kind of tires I have? Eh, you don't have to. These Chevy Volts all come with Goodyear Fuel Max tires. They can help you save gas. Wow, I have Goodyears? Oh, so now you care. Yes, I care. Uh, I care. Goodyear. More driven. Receive up to $160 off with mail-in rebate when you buy four select Goodyear tires with your Goodyear credit card. Goodyear credit card purchases subject to credit approval. Certain conditions and restrictions apply. See retailer for complete details. Goodyear official tire of NASCAR. NASCAR is a registered trademark of the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing Incorporated. I tweeted all that stuff about that guy in the moment, you know. I never thought it would be right there when you Googled him. <laughs> I mean, it makes him look like, uh, <laughs> you know. Oh, I actually became a customer of his <laughs> before he closed. <laughs> Oh, man, the Internet. you got to stay on top of that thing. <laughs> on the Internet, everyone is entitled to their opinion, even this guy. That's why there's Reputation.com. Reputation.com understands that negative material about you online, no matter how untrue, could impact your reputation and your business. And you may never know the extent of the damage. Reputation.com helps you control how you look when people search you, managing reviews of your business, and pushing down misleading and malicious search results. Act now and get a free reputation assessment conducted by our expert advisors. Call us now at 800-283-1144. That's 800-283-1144, or go to reputation.com. Welcome back to the Slam Show. This is the sports segment sponsored by Liquid Nitro, Real Energy, No, no Bull. Bull. Also, <laughs> Bay Marketing, Baymanda.com. Check this out. Freaking Stallion wants me to play. <laughs> he said freaking, freaking Stallion. With the fucking freaking Stallion over here. <laughs> the freaking sal Stallion wants to hear <laughs> the funny. track. Gotta bump it up, dog. There we go. The Liquid Nitro track. Everyone enjoy. Here we go. Jittery after down in an energy drink. I'm crashing, so how can I accomplish a mountain of work? I'm doubting that this is possible, possibly because I'm bouncing back with liquid nitro. Feel the antioxidant fruits that you're offering, six from different continents. And yes, on top of this, they are on the ball. Nitro Lima had to go up a bit, but the small, easy. Tied now, so I'm off to the couch. You paper towels, put the sweat, wipe it off from my brow. Low energy, and I need quite a massive amount of energy. Let me see what this drink is about. Liquid nitro might go whoa with the taste. Great, the life of the flavor, no. Sing along. <laughs> yeah. Man, wow. That's the beat, that man. That's the beat. BTME. BTME. Props out, out to you guys. Props out to Joe. The whole Liquid Nitro crew. You guys putting it down. The official Liquid Nitro song. Exactly. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, going into the sports segment, let's go ahead and begin, shall we? Wow. <laughs> this is, right now, the beginning of baseball season. And as we are Niner fans, we're also San Francisco Giant fans. And Pete is a very dedicated super fan. He's at spring training earlier and got some good insights and so forth. Now, let's talk about the team, where it's heading. Pistol Pete. Roll with me. Well, they're looking good, especially after today. Their, fi their offense finally woke up. Yes. You know, they spoiled uh, Colorado's home opener. Mm-hmm. Good. And Barry Zito <laughs> pitched the game of his life today. Yeah. I mean, well, seriously, yeah, or a shutout. Or else they would have went to 0-4. Wow. Complete game shutout. Hasn't done that since he was on the Oakland A's. Mm-hmm. So, hey, maybe he's back to his old form. Well, we're going to have to wait and see because it's too early to tell. Like you well, said. he's going to be one of the X factors because, I mean, he's our fifth guy on the st you know, starting rotation. Yeah. And today he only went because Vogelsong was hurt. And then Lincecum, he's going to be back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And um, Lincecum, Kane, and uh, Bumgarner, they didn't look too good those first three games. But, no, they um, did not. <laughs> but now we're back on the right track. Barry Zito's put us on the right track now. And, um, 
They have a lot of good guys on their team this year. They do. They do. You know? They have a lot of speed. They have. They're built for speed. Yeah. They they just have to go ahead and have certain youngsters kind of come around with some hitting. Yeah. I mean, defensively, they're looking good. I like Brandon Crawford. Uh, I like Emmanuel Burris. He's, yes. These guys look like there's a lot of potential and right Blanco. now. And mm Blanco. Mm-hmm. So Blanco's looking good out there, and we have an angel in the outfield also. That's right. Hitting leadoff. Yeah. Switch hitter. Yep, Milky Cabrera, the milkman. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we got the two mainstays, Buster Posey and Pablo. Well, Pablo's hitting third, so you have one, two, three. You have switch hitters hitting first, second, and third. I mean, there's hardly any other teams that are like that. And our team, that's, that's and they're all fast. Exactly, exactly. And then Buster. Yeah, we'll see know? if he can recover from his broken leg. But yeah. it's so early to tell because, I mean, with any severe injury like that, it's, it's kind of tough to be 100% in such a short period of time, although he did miss the entire 2011 yeah. season. Yeah. So The fans well, love him, though. Yeah. You should have seen it in spring training, his first game back. Um, I, you know, they I were going I, crazy, huh? Oh, they were I going nuts. <laughs> and it was his birthday on the same day, and they were, we were all saying happy birthday to him. Right. It was so awesome. Buster uh, is back. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, let's just go ahead and jump into it. What, what's your prediction on the Giants season? You think they're going to Well, Arizona is going to give them a hard time. Yeah. You know? And then maybe the Rockies, too. Sure, and the sure. Dodgers. I'm a little scared because, you know, Magic Johnson just bought the um, Dodgers. So, Why would you just I don't know what that's going to do to their team. but <laughs> Stay in basketball, yeah. Magic. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm I'm glad the Dodgers are back because you got to have that rivalry, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you don't want them to win, of course. <laughs> oh, but well, I think you got to have that rivalry to have that media attention, especially with the Northern California against Southern California deal. And yeah. that's just the way it's been for what several decades. Dodgers and Giants all yeah. the way. So, who do you think your MVP? MVP, well, you know, there's going to be a couple. It could be Melky Cabrera. It could be Pablo. It could mm -hmm. be Buster. Well, he said name one. So <laughs> the wow. expectations for Pablo are very, very high this season, and I think he's going to come through. So I would have to go with Pablo. Yeah. You know? And why is he called the Kung Fu Kung Panda? Kung Fu Panda. Panda. Well, uh, Panda. there's a story behind that. Actually, a couple of years ago, Barry Zito gave him that nickname. Okay. You mm -hmm. know, right when, right when uh, Kung Fu Panda came out. <laughs> the, the cartoon, right? And it was just, you know, it was Pablo's rookie <laughs> year, and he just has that personality and he's always moving around and joking around, and, and, and he's big, you know? Oh, and, and he's yeah. lost a lot of weight, too. That's man. true. He used to be real chunky. So he's not like, that much of a not chunky He used to he look like big, a panda, dude. like a, a, a fuzzy yeah. teddy bear. Yeah. Yeah. He, he could pick it out there on, at third base, too. So he's lost some weight, and so this is going to be his year, I think. Yeah, I agree. This I agree. is his year. The, the Kung Fu Panda is finally awoken. Because he can hit, but I mean, like, you know... Running was like, <laughs> yeah, he, he was else but it, just hit me. it, just hit it out of the park, dude, and you, you're all good. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> home runs. You don't have to worry about speed. Yeah, right. Yeah, you, you just, just have you to just walk at home. Yeah, lumber <laughs> around the bases. You know, yeah. the Giants. The only thing they have to worry about this year is pretty much first base. They got a couple guys going. You know, Buster even plays first base, but really, mm -hmm. right now, it's between Brandon Belt and Aubrey Huff. Aubrey Huff, but also Brett Pill is coming mm -hmm. up there too. So um, the youngsters, Aubrey yeah. Huff and Brandon, they better they better uh, do something quickly. Huff, man, he's getting they're having oh, a little he's... slump right now. Yeah. So he's, Huff, yeah. I think he's going to be the next guy traded. I don't know. Yeah, he's getting a little old. He's oh. getting old. I don't even think he has any trade. I think value he wait. He, 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 he threw yeah. he threw away his red thong way too early. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, that's right. But Brandon Belt, the baby <laughs> giraffe, he's here to stay. I think, and Brandon Crawford. This is going to be his year. I met his dad on the airplane on the way back from spring training. Oh, and so cool. he told me a lot of good stories about Brandon. And this year he's going to be able to focus a little bit better because now he's married. Beautiful you know, wife now. They've been together for five years. And yeah, we have this married theme just after Fresco brought her <laughs> situation. No, but it's good, for him. <laughs> it's, it's good for him. You know, good for, for uh, Brandon Crawford. I mean, so that's, look, at, look at the situation with Alex Smith. Last yes. year he got married and he was focused in. And look at the San Francisco... 49ers go nearly to the Super Bowl. So g getting married for some people is a good thing. <laughs> yeah. So Keeps him out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> His Sam? sex life stopped. <laughs> <Not> Sam. <laughs> and we, we, we forgot that? to talk about Brian Wilson. Fear the Beard. Oh, Fear the yeah. Beard. Yeah. Oh, my God. He yeah. is a freaking rock star, dude. I went to the A's and Giants game oh, yeah. with my son. and took him to his first game. We were sitting in the front row. Uh -huh. You know, Actually, we were sitting about seven rows back. But then when Wilson, we saw that he was going to come in the game and warm up in the bullpen. And me and Tyler went down to the front, took some pictures of Tyler with yeah, uh, yeah. Fear the Beard 
walking right behind him. No way. Oh, really? oh yeah, I got video of Fear the Beard just warming up in the bullpen. <laughs> you didn't even have a name My son was so name. happy. Brian Wilson, B Weezy. That's his nickname right oh, there, okay. B Weezy. Yeah. And I got the bobblehead. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, have I'm you a, met him? Am I a Giants fan or what? Have Come you on. met him? Have you met him personally? <laughs> no, no. What is his personality like that you heard? I, I heard he's he like the Charlie Sheen of baseball. Char- yeah, kinda, like, yeah, yeah. Trippy, you know, right? like, yeah. like Wild Thing. Remember the the movie, the baseball yeah. movie, yes, yes. and Wild yeah. Thing came yeah. out. He's 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 like a rock star. He's like a, yeah, character. Well, that's where Charlie Sheen got all that winning and stuff from from, from him. So. <laughs> Because yeah. they hung out. Uh, that's oh, true. That all that, right? all that weird talk that Charlie Sheen was doing was actually from Brian Wilson. Because <laughs> he wow. he has that same kind of Stallion? attitude. Not from <laughs> <laughs> It's not from hanging out with you. <laughs> yeah, he was. So let's let's go down the list. Who's the MVP for you guys on the Giants? Fresca, let's mm. go with you first. I'm a I'm a Buster Posey fan, so I'm just a Buster. I'm glad he's back. Yeah, awesome. and uh, definitely, you know, uh, injuries are 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 sometimes inevitable, and uh, I'm just. I'm just happy that he's back and that he's, you know, doing better, man. Yeah, same I was here. so sad. I w- I'm, I was, I'm sure as all the Giants fans were, were like, "What? Yeah. How can we? How can we not have him? Like, that was uh, that was devastating." Still block the plate. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's not gonna do it this year. Yeah, no, he's, he's yeah. not gonna do it that. He's anymore. being coached not to. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So, Sage, who's gonna I'm be your gonna MVP? I'm gonna go with Emmanuel Burris only because of his speed and defense. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so I he's mean, just going to sneak up on everyone and just... Like a ninja. If that's All the right. case, <laughs> if, if Burris is MVP, the Giants are winning the World Series. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. That's that cool. means everybody else is doing their job. Yeah. That's you know? right. So you're saying that's a good pick? Oh, yeah, it's a great pick. I hope he nice, is the MVP. Nice. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> let's see. Let's see it come true. This would be his breakout year. Come right on, on, let's go, Emmanuel. Right. Stallion, who's your MVP? I was going to say I was going to say Buster too, just because you know he was out all last year and he was he needs something to prove and he wants uh, he's pissed off. Yeah, and mm-hmm. he's he's going for some. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And did you narrow down your MVP there, Pete? Because you had named up like three people. I'm going to go with Milky Cabrera. Oh, okay. You know, uh, hitting number two in the lineup. He had a, a, his, the best year of his career last year with Kansas City. Yeah. And um, we traded Jonathan Sanchez about time. That's right. And uh, and we got some and we got somebody good and worth something. And Melky Cabrera, he's gonna bring it. Yeah. Him and Angel, one two. I think they're gonna do something real special this year. And um, it just makes everybody else uh, on the lineup that that much better. It's gonna make Pablo that much better. He's gonna see better pitches because Melky's gonna be batting behind him. And hopefully, you know, Buster, he's gonna hit this year. So that means Huff better come through because he's gonna get on. You know, Buster. He's going to have a lot of opportunity with runners in scoring position. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. And you, you before mentioned Pablo. <laughs> yeah. That's my MVP, mm. Pablo Sandoval. So thank you guys for your predictions. And Giants, take it all the way this season. Yes. That's for yeah. Yeah. yeah, go I Giants. Have, I have a question. When is Heritage Night? It is May 2nd, I believe, on a Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Lock it down. Yeah. Lock it. Can I say a prediction Filipino for the World Series? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Do your prediction. Okay, in the American League, I think it's going to be Detroit. Detroit. Detroit Tigers. All right, we're going to rewind against this tape. the San Francisco <laughs> Giants. In about, what, seven months? Oh, man, you said tape. <laughs> <laughs> did you see what Detroit, did, you see what Detroit <laughs> did to the Boston Red Sox? When? Uh, just those last three games. Oh, I mean, the past Boston, ones, yeah. yeah, those three last games, um, the, Detroit beat them by, like, almost 30 runs well, this in those three games and season, swept the sir. Red Sox. <laughs> And so they're expected to um, take it in the American League. Okay, okay. And your National League? Yeah, Giants. Giants, all right. All the way. Just want to make sure you're consistent with your (laughs) predictions here. (laughs) Excellent, excellent, guys. All right, moving on to our next sports segment. Why do you keep dropping your (laughs) fucking ass? I'm going to put it right here. Oh, my God. (laughs) Check this out. (laughs) (laughs) Rumor has it that Mark Sanchez, the the current starting quarterback for the New York Jets, wants out of... The Big Apple, because obviously he's feeling the heat from Mr. Tim Tebow. Dirty and Sanchez. You gotta, keep, <laughs> you gotta keep this in mind. Did you say Dirty Sanchez? Uh, uh, it, you, with your dirty mind, of course. What? You're the bastos. <laughs> you know what they say: if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen, right, well, Mark Sanchez? Out. Both of them were last year Hell's on kitchen. the cover of GQ magazine, so they're both freaking model mm. cover boys. So there's only room for one. So, guys, what do you think? Should uh, Sanchez hang around and just, like, go toe-to-toe with Tim Tebow? Or is the Tim Tebow machine that powerful enough to run him out of town? What's your guys' thoughts? You know me. I heart Tebow. And he can't handle being second. I mean, the moment Sanchez messes up, you know who's going to step up. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he, he already even has it predicted in his own mind that he can't handle his position. 
That's mm. crazy. That's kind of sad. Yeah, that is pretty sad. I, rumor has it that he wants to go to Minnesota, go head-to-head with Christian Ponder, the rookie from last season Actually, that took over Donovan McNabb's position. I think he's better off there. Yeah, well. I think so, too. I, I think so, too. <laughs> I yeah. think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Fresco. What do you think? Do you think? Uh, you know, I can't honestly, dude. I can't even speak on it. Okay. Well, dude, they're, they're I'm not, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna sit here going. I think it's good. I don't know. Oh, see, that, that's how you got to be real about that. Yeah, I, like I don't that. know. Got to be straight. Got to be straight. Well, the Jets <laughs> they're changing their whole off- offensive plan now. They're, yeah. they're going to be the Wildcat team, you know. And Tim Tebow, he's good at it. Yeah, so. because the offensive coordinator is the one that created the Wildcat offense. Get him in there on third down and. Yeah, hey. but who wants to like? Okay, it's third down. I have to get off the field. You want to stay on the field the whole time. That's what yeah. playing football is about. None mm. of the substitution shit. Well, he did it in college, and he, you know. Yeah, with Chris League over in Florida. Yeah. But I think this is in the pros. There's a lot of ego involved. Mm. If Mark Sanchez takes off, oh well, it's going to be Tim Tebow time, no matter what. That that was my prediction anyway. See, um, Mark Sanchez wasn't going to stay a starter quarterback. Yeah. I I already predicted that you know Tim Tebow is going to take his his good handsome self out there <laughs> <laughs> with the fans <laughs> following him. Woo! You know? Yeah. yeah. All on that. heels. <laughs> <laughs> Big time heels. But the Jets better, they better have a backup plan. I mean, somebody to just get in there if Tebow starts struggling, you know? Well, we have the NFL draft coming up in a few weeks, so there's a lot of room for picks to happen and also free agents. So yeah. it's, it's going to be interesting off season for the Jets. That's for damn sure. Excellent, guys. Excellent. All right. Moving on to our final sports discussion. You see this gentleman mm, right here? Yes. That is Bob Arum. Bob Arum. He is the promoter that is in charge of trying to put together the whole Manny Pacquiao and Mayweather fight. Hmm. He apparently went public recently and stated that the fight is not going to happen until 2013. Again, and isn't the wrong. world supposed to end like in <laughs> late yeah, December? In 20, yeah, 2012. So it already yeah. ended. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So it's kind of like aliens right now. It's kind of weird, <laughs> but what's your guys' take? This guy, he is just a villain in a lot of people's uh, perception because of how he's handled yeah. this whole money thing and and how apparently ma- making both sides look like they're just greedy when it comes to the cash dollars involved in this bout because it's going to be the biggest fight in decades. Who wants to chime in on this? Well, I think they both have um, a lot on the line, you know. Um, but for me, I mean, I, the, the longer the time or as m- more time passes, mm-hmm. uh, I think it's definitely going to be at Pacquiao's, um, disadvantage just because, um, that's what I heard. I mean, that my, yeah. And my own personal opinion, uh, and of course I'm a Pacquiao fan, but, um, how do you say that again? Pacquiao. <laughs> <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> Sam says it's it Pacquiao. It ain't, it ain't it's not Pacquiao. Pacquiao. It ain't Pacquiao. It's not Pacquiao. Pacquiao. It's Pacquiao. But nice. he's yeah. the Pac-Man. But he is the Pac-Man. That's for all the Americans. Pac-Man. <laughs> and if you're Filipino, it's Pacquiao. Well, speaking of, <laughs> well, of uh, Pacquiao. <laughs> I had to like yes. say it like they're not the correct way. <laughs> the Hennessy commercial. Have, has everyone seen that? No. Well, check this out. I'll put it on the screen right now. <laughs> Talk oh. about a freaking totally senseless commercial. This is the Hennessy Pacquiao commercial. Now, check it out. It is just cuts... Of and visuals. He's of sponsored by Hennessy? Yeah, yes. check this out. Look. I had no idea. It's crazy. Why? It this has nothing to do with drinking Hennessy. This is what's <laughs> going on in the commercial. Has no promotion of the bottle or anything until at the very end. Check it out. This is, look, Manny Pacquiao. And he says, uh, I drink Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> you know I drink Hennessy. Hey, did you hear it's something? Very good. There was like a rumor that he was going broke. That's why he's doing all these type of Wh- engagements. What's your guys' thoughts on that? I doubt it. I doubt it. Because he's just paying all freaking Team Pacquiao and all these freaking debts and all these mistresses and stuff and like his, that. And, and his <laughs> wife's uh, there you go. plastic surgery. I use just it. At the very <laughs> end, <laughs> yeah. the bottle. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, yeah. His band. Oh, man. His yeah, band. I, heard, I heard his overhead is like actually pretty ridiculous. I don't have a figure, but yeah, I've heard the same thing. He's made <laughs> nearly $100 million in 2011. Now, if you're going broke or struggling, man, you got some freaking man- mismanagement money problems. That's because he's losing out on all of the uh, singing stuff he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. don't, I, uh, don't sing anymore. But you know what? More <laughs> props to him. I mean, Hennessy, Moet, and Louis Vuitton is the same company, so that's... that's I didn't even know that. Yes, it is. Wow, girl. Yeah. I didn't know that either. I didn't know that either. (laughs) I'm a big Louis Vuitton fan. Hey, does Pacquiao, um, is he he like the mayor 
No, he's a congressman. Congressman? Yes. Yeah, he's In the Philippines, right? Yeah. Yeah, so getting back to what you were saying. So he should be a smart guy and man- know how to manage his money. Jeez. Well, uh, he doesn't would, have people. Yeah, he, he has people he has that manages peeps. it for him, but. <laughs> he has peeps to do that. Yeah. Fresca, you yes. were mentioning about as time goes on and they keep delaying the fight. I yes. agree 100%. Yeah, I mean, I think he's almost, almost past his prime. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I mean, and, and Mayweather, man, that dude is fast, man. And it's like the, t- the long, the, you know, time passes. Right. Uh, you know, and he's getting older. And um, luckily, his he still has that speed. But uh, I don't know. I think I think he breaks angles better than... Um, better than um mayweather does but i think mayweather has him on the speed so if, if he can if he can you know hit and get you know break an angle then i think that'll he can survive <laughs> yeah because that's I, gonna i think that's gonna definitely be the, the toughest fight he's ever had i agree 100 percent. and you gotta keep in mind mayweather isn't getting younger as pacquiao gets older so hey it's it's time is against him as well that's true that's but true I think but it, but i mean you know he's there's he's so undefeated, many. though. You know what I mean? Yeah, and he's I a, think Mayweather's going to jail, right, for like a three-month stint. <laughs> so he's going to be healing his body while Pacquiao's out and about doing his oh. outrageousness. I doubt singing. he'll be heal- healing his body. <laughs> that, that dude, like, I mean, he has he's he has a, a crazy work ethic, a crazy, crazy work ethic. I mean, they both do. Right, right. But, um, I mean, the kind of passion they put into their workouts is ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. Well... You're you're not freaking superstar boxers if you're just kicking back doing absolutely know. nothing. But I mean, being in jail though, he's still gonna be. Well, that's all they do is work out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, isn't so that he's a regimen? definitely gonna be like <laughs> like the hurricane. I, I just watched do? that movie last night actually oh. <laughs> with Denzel Washington. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great movie right there. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see what happens. Pacquiao fan right here, of course. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. I think yeah. everyone absolutely. in here is a Pacquiao fan. You better be Stallion. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we we know how he you feels about be. boxing. By I default, by, de- by default, I am. Well, how do how do you feel about boxing? Man, if it wasn't for the Pacquiao oh and the Mayweather <laughs> thing, that it would be no one would be talking about boxing at That's all. That's right. You wouldn't. You really? Yeah. Who, you wouldn't who, 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 who else? Yeah. What are you going to talk about? Take out Mayweather and Pacquiao. What? Who comes to mind in boxing? Mm. Well, remember so back in the day, you could go down the line. Yeah. Oh yeah. Home. De La Hoya. I mean. De La Hoya. God, Tyson. I remember, yeah, watching stuff. Sugar Ray. Hearns. Yeah. But now it's just Pacquiao, Pacquiao, Mayweather. It's all, it's all you guys. What did you, know, you guys think of the Ortiz fight with Mayweather? What did you guys think cool. of that? I mean, it's old news, but yeah. I mean, it's yeah. it's like. Uh, I could there was some struggling was like, wow. there with him, but he, but he took y- care of business. I think MMA and UFC and all those is t- took it over. And they, uh, people can name down the line of all the people. That's right. And that's, that's true. And that is a big, great super point there because with MMA blossoming, that's mm-hmm. where all the possible boxers would have gone. But instead, they're now training mi- mixed martial arts, and mm. there you go. It's the you can't have too many people and too many sports <laughs> that are related yeah. and similar in styles. So either boxing or MMA was going to suffer, and boxing has suffered. Yeah, oh that's well. too bad. That's yeah. too bad. I wonder why. I hope it ha- I hope this fight happens, and I hope it happens but soon. You, in 2013. Well, as, yeah. as Let me ask you guys say. this: Do you think Bob Arum is to blame for all these delays, or is he just like the the guy that everyone's picking on? I don't think so. Promoter? I I don't think he's to blame. I, I don't think so. I think no. it, they're just delaying the process because none of the guys want to lose. None of the guys mm-hmm. want to lose their title. Mm-hmm. So it's like, uh, let's just blame it on one guy and. And that's that. Fuck, why yeah. would they just do some virtual boxing? <laughs> like, like they did in a, Fantasy in that, boxing? <laughs> in that last Rocky one, remember? Uh, yeah. 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 And they had it for, uh, what's oh. his name? That um, He was actually a world champion, too. Yeah, what's his name? Tommy Gunn or something? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. The new Rocky. The new, new Rocky Balboa one. He fought oh, yeah, Rudy, Rudy, Rudy fight. That and they did a, a virtual fight before they actually that's did right. the, the real fight. That's right. When they walked fight. into that bar, it was on ESPN. Yeah, yeah, yep. but that guy he fought was a real champion at the time. Tarver. Yeah. That's his name. Oh, Antonio Tarver was in that movie? I don't know if it's yeah. Antonio. Oh, because I didn't watch it, so. <laughs> That's a great movie. Well, you better go illegally download it. You don't need to. Why don't you go Netflix? Why have to say illegal? Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Google it and Just, YouTube it. Yeah, YouTube it. They'll, they'll play all two movie. hours on it's there. It's a fucking great movie. <laughs> Anthony, have you seen that one yet? Of course I was a fucking midnight show. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are you talking about? Fresca, you yes. got to understand this about Stan. Yeah. He's all about the midnight showings. I, I know. I was just going to ask that. Like, yeah. You're like the and midnight And I think we're owl. supposed to see the Avengers Midnight we showing. We are going to see it. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Supposed to. It's going to be it's dope. It's like my bedtime. Nope. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's too funny. Excellent, excellent. Has anybody seen Titanic? In no, 3D? I was yeah. going Dude. to. Did you? No, really? I was thinking about it. You the are freaking sweet. I was thinking about it. 
sugar in your look at, tank. Look at him smiling. I know. Like, oh, <laughs> I know. I was great. I With a girl, you know. Titanic. I'm like, by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know what part you I know, want to see? Here's why. Check this out. One part I want to see in Titanic in 3D is when that guy falls and hits the propeller going on down. Yeah. Remember that part? Oh, I don't yeah. remember that part. Yeah. Jesus that, was, that would look good. good. What the fuck? You, you need to watch some. You need to catch up on your movies. It was no, I had watched it, but I wasn't paying. I was paying attention to you know, Leonardo DiCaprio. It's, it's if it wasn't Leonardo DiCaprio getting flung off that boat, I didn't care who yeah. was getting caught up in that propeller. Yeah, everyone remembers. <laughs> well, that they, they, they're, they're yeah, the boat was like this going yeah. down, and Leo and Rose were climbing up, and yeah. then you just see people falling down. And, oh. You know, yeah, I do remember it's that. Actually, part. Jack, not Jack. Leo. Yeah, well, they're, Jack they're and Rose. <laughs> okay, Fonseca, Jack. Jack and oh, Jack. Rose, Jack and Jill. <laughs> Hey, no, but the, the, they're launching the new boat is is on sale right now, right? The oh, Titanic. Yeah. Well, it's not the same. It's it's taking the same route, but yeah. it's the same boat si yeah. style boat. Oh, it's wow. like part two of it. Then they yeah, should, I'm not gonna write. They should If they need to take the same <laughs> route, they better crash that shit too. Yeah, they should erect a freaking iceberg and do yeah. the exact same. Well, now they have it in they 3D. They should. They, they now they'll be able to see the iceberg. You know. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. With new oh, technology. Oh shit! It's iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, I know. guys. <laughs> All right, we're going to go up. ahead and close out the sports Sarah segment. Sarah Palin's on the fucking island. <laughs> you guys are funny. We'll be right back here on the Slam Show with the entertainment segment. Yeah. Hang tight. Practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your wear it is. Make an old man get his glasses, make Wesley pay his taxes, then follow your moves all week on Twitter. Probably make it reconsider. You're now rocking with the best man. Dress game down to the sex game. Won't grab with the boy been blessed man. Let you play with the stick, old bitch came. She calling, she texting, she's falling. But let me explain. Gotta tell your old boyfriend skate girl, cause it don't play them X games. Nope, straight sexing, no handcuff or arresting. And I ain't coming off on my last name Cause I really can't take no stress saying About where I done been, who I done hit Your whole girl saying he a bad boy But I'm signed to the rock, no time for the gossip Put down them tabloids She said I heard you got a main chick My mistress and some fools You be up to no good and everybody know My whole girl tried to warn me They tried to let me know What you got, I need a lot So I can't let you go She said I can't get enough, can't get enough I can't get enough for what you got Good guys, you hit the spot Try to let go, but I just cannot So don't you stop, I need hate Glow, try to cold, hotter Either way, out in London town Whole Tyler, cause they love my sound And I got love for the underground Quali, Pimp C, H-Town with Bundy down Met a bad that I cut all night That all night, you just cut off lights Almost missed my flight, trying to get my last look, all right. She be down for whatever, whenever I want to get up in the guts, all right. Never fuss a fight, on the ground trying to find this that ace. I love it when you give me, I hate it when you give me headaches. She said, I heard you got a main trick, my mistress and some fools. You be up to no good and everybody know. My own girl tried to warn me, they tried to let me know. What you got, I need a lot, so I can't let you go. She said, I can't get enough. Enough. I can't get enough for what you got. Good guys, you hit the spot. Try to let go, but I just cannot. So don't you stop. I need hate. Cold world, baby, ain't nothing sunny. I see him hating, but it ain't nothing to me. I'm from the veer where they bang for the money and carry four fives like change for a 20. So what I look like, skirt. The f's over there look like nerves. Never mind that, girl. Let's make a track. I beat the pussy up. That's the hook right there. That's the hook right there. That's the hook right there. Never mind that, girl. Let's make a track. I beat the up, that's the hook right there. Said, I heard you got a main trick, but it's just in some fools. You be up to no good, and everybody know. My own girls tried to warn me, they tried to let me know. What you got, I need a lot, so I can't let you go. She said, I can't get enough, can't get enough. I need that. I can't get enough, can't get enough. I can't get enough for what you got Good guys, you hit the spot Try to let go, but I just cannot So don't you stop, I need that Wow, that's Can't Get Enough I'm J. Feeling, Cole I am featuring feeling. 
Trey songs. Sorry, I'm just talking all over you. No, 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 no. All if you're feeling the track, you. I mean, <laughs> it's it's hitting. I like that. I like that. It's hitting. You like it, Sage? <laughs> it was so mellow. I loved it. Oh, <laughs> you hear it? It was so, it was so mellow. mellow. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your Theo Mitsuhara impression? Oh, oh wow. wow. You said Theo Mitsuhara. Theo. Love lines. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, <laughs> to the funny. Slam Show. This is the entertainment segment sponsored by Perfect Tan. Two locations, one in Concord and one in Clayton. And, and also Kinders yeah. for hooking it up yes. tonight. And Stallion's the- Chili. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. He made me eat his chili and it's not vegetarian. Yeah. He made me. Stallion put together some homemade <laughs> chili and it was off the hook and we're gonna sell that at Heritage He'd Day, <laughs> <laughs> along with some pancit. Oh, lump- yeah, pancit. Some lumpia and pancit I'll make the lumpia. I'll make the lumpia. I'll fry them. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have our own like little stand in front of freaking the statue of Willie. Some bastos balot. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> that's gross, dude. Smooth as eggs. I'll Smooth be there for the eggs. lumpia. You guys are funny. Pete wants the bastos balot. <laughs> No, I want, the, I want Francesca's loop, Lumpia. Lumpia. I got you, man. I you want her covered. empanada? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> ah. We're going to get away from the literal <laughs> into the physical. Where's Patty at? Where's pa- Patty? Patty. <laughs> yeah. All right. Patty cake. Our first topic on the entertainment segment, Snoop Dogg. Mm. You know he's a super entrepreneur. Snoop Dogg. Doing everything he can to make a buck. His latest venture is, oh, wait for it, a smokable <laughs> song book. <laughs> Pete's got that already. He reads it to his son every night. (laughs) Check this out. Wow, that is horrible. (laughs) That's fucked up. Stallion. That's real fucked up. I have no filter. (laughs) Either is Snoop. Is it your mom listening? Shame on you. Yeah. Yeah, your mom. Hi, mom. (laughs) She listens. Check this out, guys. I got the no filter from her. So let's see what Snoop's up to. Snoop Dogg, and check it out. This is the video, right? It is an actual book, and (laughs) the pages are actually zigzags. Yeah, with writing on it. Smokable pages. There you go. You you just strike the match on the side. Yeah. And bingo. You're all set. Hey, you know, if they made that for kids in school these days, all the kids would actually read that shit <laughs> and learn something. <laughs> uh, that's and then sad. Instead of throwing a paper away, you just smoke it. So what does it say? <laughs> I'm going to Snoop Dogg in the motherfucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it says? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you once it comes in the mail. All right. Because I actually <laughs> want to check it out. What? 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 Do I have to sign off that? So the pages are smokable? <laughs> yes. That's smokable. not good. Because, you know, they're really thin pages, right? Just like a Bible. How, you know how Bible oh, has thin pages? Oh, you did not pages? put Bible oh. in the same no, 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 shame. Oh, God. He's already smoked Go. the Bible. Go. Go. Stand in the corner. <laughs> he is in the no, corner. No, no. No. I know he is in the corner. No, no. Yeah. Oh Turn God. around. <laughs> wow. It's what? A, so you guys think you guys are thinking like, oh, I'm gonna take a rip a page out of the Bible or something? And no. Well, what no, I'm trying to say is hey, that I am very religious of- myself. So like people like say like they ran out of zigzags, they're gonna go to the Bible and rip a page out like. It's a different kind no, of paper, No, 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 because I think... <laughs> oh, that's another level, dude. <laughs> just <'cause of> the, <laughs> I'm just joking. Aren't there just certain, the like, printouts so of yeah. the Bible actually made out of cannabis? Something Jesus like had that? dreads. <laughs> <laughs> You've been listening to freaking E40 too much. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Original idea by Snoop? Or is I it going to just, be a, just I, be a passing fad? I don't smoke, and he's probably going to market this towards, what, the, oh, medi- the, the, the medical, the the medical mar- marijuana <laughs> user? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think they want to sing or smoke at the I same time. I don't think time. there's actually anyone that needs it for medicinal purposes. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think it's cool, but it's not going to work. Basically, you have, like, I don't know how many pages it is, but it's a lot of supply <laughs> of paper for somebody. Yeah. It's a novelty, and it'll yeah. wear off, but, you yeah. know, I, it's n- I don't, I've never seen anything like this, so I think maybe it'll, you know, it'll strike a buzz for a little while, and then, you know, like every other novelty strike thing, a it'll just strike a buzz. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> strike a buzz. Seriously, think about it. Has there been anyone that's made a smokable songbook like this? No one. So, much props, mm. Snoop. Well, it doesn't play music when you open it, so you gotta you know put that out there. <laughs> you have to it's sing not it. a song yeah. book. It's it's a lyrics. I, I, it's his lyrics. I'm s- he's gonna start the, the new old trend. Shit. Believe me. Yeah. Watch, you're gonna Wait. have like you freaking think so? yeah. No. Old school rappers freaking are gonna come out with it. Freaking Cypress Hill, Coolio. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> Coolio. I, like I said, it's not Paper marketable, boy. but it's cool. <laughs> I mean, they'll probably sell at what? Urban Paper Outfitters? Paper Boys, Papers. <laughs> 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 Urban Outfitters? Yeah, they have some cool shit there. They got yeah, a lot but of the, the shops. I don't know about freaking zigzag books. Well, well, first, it'll be Snoop, then Wiz Khalifa. And Hello Kitty. Yeah. They're going to send, yeah. they're at San Rio. There you go. <laughs> Hello Kitty, freaking smokable songbooks. Wow. <laughs> it's, a, it's a novelty. It'll last. <laughs> for, <laughs> it'll last for eight months. 
I got the Eight Charlie Sheen one, the sniffable ones. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chop it up with your credit card. Re- re- release date is on 420. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It is probably. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this just could be a passing fad, right? Yep. That's pretty much yeah, it. Passing it, get it, passing it. April 20th. <laughs> Literally. Yep. Definitely. You guys are funny. Well, uh, <laughs> quick question <laughs> since good. you ordered it, how much does this thing cost? No, 420? I wanna, actually, I have it in my Amazon account pending. So well, I haven't mu- yet. How much is it? I think it's, it's Four, not that 42 much. 50 Yeah, it's like under 10 bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Yeah, how so many papers does it come with? How many pages? I don't know, man. I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you read? It wasn't in the... Uh, <laughs> I told you it's in the pending freaking... But you didn't you read well, the uh, description? I can't wait till we yeah, get the description, it. Item description. Yeah. Of the Amazon. The one page? Dude, I just seen one Snoop Dogg freaking... And he was like, wow, this is cool. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> then I had to do the script and get ready for the show, so leave me alone. I'll let you know later. <laughs> and we're going to smoke the script later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving right along. <laughs> Check this out. San Francisco's Phil's Coffee. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Phil's Coffee, but they have created a coffee app, which is one of the best inventions. I don't know why it took so long for this to be created, but it basically, you could order your freaking coffee off your smartphone and have it piping hot once you arrive at Phil's Coffee. Sounds like Starbucks. Now, wow. this, this gentleman right now that you'll see here, he pretty much looks like an older version of St. John, Fresca. <laughs> I mean, you <laughs> look, 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 see? see? St. Ain't that crazy? But oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right there, the side view, too. Hey, Sam, sure, I man. did that last night with uh, my new Pizza Guys app. Ordered a pizza, delivered. Right, right, right. So 30 minutes later. So just like Right, that. there you go. Well, okay, I, don't, I don't get it, because if you order it and, and then you get there, like, late, it would still be <laughs> piping hot? Oh, uh, That's a good question. We should call him. Can you get him on the phone? Yeah. <laughs> get, give him a call and find out how this whole process goes. Artists but depends on what t- part of Frisco you're in. Well, they have warmers. Beer. They have a little well, warmer we'll in the front out. seat. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Phil's, yeah. Phil's Coffee is a more independent-based yeah. company. Yeah, like mom and pop. Why didn't Pete's, why didn't Starbucks come up with this app thing? I think they do have it. Do oh, they? I got that one. Let me look right here. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I think I you can, you can uh, design your drink and shit, and then you go up and show them your iPhone, and they scan your iPhone, and you bought it. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, it doesn't, I don't think it'll work. I think it does. Oh, no. I just oh, don't, I, I mean, what if there were just like, you know, say, you know, 100 people that were on the app at the same time and then, you know, order it and they get there and 100 <laughs> people are on the line, then how can you do that? Like, That's how you do. You There's a line when you're in a store, like we used to do when we went out to places, and it'd be like 20, 30 people deep. Mm-hmm. I'd fucking stand at the end of the line, I'd call my order, and they say, okay, when you get here, come to the front of the line. So I, you know, hung up the phone and then I walked to the front of the line. I said, I'm here to pick it up. I didn't have to wait. I bet you they messed up your order. No. Because I went outside. I was like, yeah, like, you know, a burger place. <laughs> and, and then uh, <laughs> well, I had to give my phone number. Well, all that shit. Everybody it drinks it, coffee. Was it at midnight? I think it's a great <laughs> idea. It, it's a great idea, 100%. But here's the thing. Hmm. When you go to, like, a Starbucks or Pete's or even Phil's Coffee, you're going there for a certain type of ambiance and, and being able to go in and, and smell the atmosphere and get that vibe going so when you're doing something so spontaneous and so mechanical it kind of takes away from that whole thing you might not even have a freaking storefront just Mm. a a freaking drive-through at that point so i don't know i think it's starting to be a more detachment thing well not everyone wants to sit there and relax and you know enjoy the ambiance i mean people that works in a corporate world you just want boom 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 i want my order and get the hell out of there you get that that dumb shit at the register message up your order all the time yeah, well, well, that's what I said. I mean, if you wanted a <laughs> non-fat, you said whip, no whip, well, that's that's what whip. I no whip, <laughs> no whip, fat free water, yeah. Are you guys and upside down soy vanilla. Yeah. Well, Freaking. let me ask you guys this: Who's hmm. really particular with their certain drinks they get? Like, I want half of this, half of that. A little sp- uh, sprinkle of this, sprinkle Chicks. that. Me, yeah. Sage, mm-hmm. chicks. You okay. Know, you know how we do it? It yeah. has to be soy milk, no whip. A sprinkle of that chocolate. A pinch um, of sea salt. What is that? That that chocolate. Just give Cocoa. me a sea salt. What the fuck? What do you be drinking? That's a, that's a, they have that shit there. The caramel salt and hot chocolate. Really? Oh, so yeah, yeah I'm very particular with my good. drink, and that's why I said they'll mess it up. And by the time you get there, it's like, oh, we'll redo <laughs> it. So there's really no point of ordering it ahead of time mm-hmm. if they mess it up. Gotcha. We should you get a video of you doing going over there and doing that. Yeah, no, I know you don't. Yeah, I've been doing the little video behind the scenes thing earlier, so oh, I, know. I gotta keep rolling. I was with like, that. what are you doing with that camera? I gotta show you this <laughs> later, ladies and gentlemen, because this is some freaking <laughs> cool stuff. You'll see Fresca in her freaking dress down cool mode and start slowly transforming <laughs> slowly to the hottie transforming. that she is on the screen right now. That's so funny. You guys are funny.
<laughs> All right, our final topic is check this out. Hmm. Google is beta testing what they call augmented reality glasses, which basically makes your hands free to do everything else and all you could do with your hands prior you could just do by your voice and looking at these visual reality things through these glasses Whoa. yeah so like if you're gonna look out the window it will automatically tell you what temperature is temperature it is outside and if it's gonna rain you look over to your left it'll tell you if this route has traffic or you should take alternate route it is so freaking crazy <laughs> did you order those two wow it's just like it's just a disaster it's happening. just like in terminator <laughs> you know how arnold would be like Looking and he's seeing yeah, all I was these things. Say, yeah, I was just thinking that same, same concept. Yeah, that same vision. Did you order those too, Sam? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are they on your Amazon cart? Well, shoot, Dude, let me know when it comes in because I, I want to try it out Sa too. Sam ordered those. He's the first thing he got on the porn site. Look, no hands. Dude, you are fucking one disgusting human being. <laughs> wow. But yeah, check that out. See, you're walking. <laughs> you could walk. Did you say porn? <laughs> you could walk into, say, a Barnes and Noble and already know exactly what you're gonna where read? to go. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I want Tara Patrick Sinners Takes All. So I just go to the coffee yeah. shop and I just look at the motherfucker. Does yeah. it know what I want to order? Does it have x-ray vision? Now we're kind of pushing the envelope there. Well, no, because you <laughs> said Arnold Schwarzenegger's glasses. Remember, he, he could actually see through, like, like heat ray. Well, he could see what was going on. Like. Well, basically, I'm talking about, like, the images where everything's kind of, like, interface. Yeah. Kind of like a menu. Uh -huh. That's what these augmented reality glasses are. And Google, after these test periods and it's coming out positive, check it out. That's going to be available on Amazon's now. <laughs> I know. Yeah, and then <laughs> motherfuckers going to be driving with that yes, shit. I was just going to say. Oh, man. Yeah. Crash. That's what I said. It's a disaster. You were texting with your eyes, motherfucker. <laughs> you were texting, weren't you? You blinked. No, you won't even have to text anymore because you're just going to look at it and it'll think of, you know, it'll. Read Think your brain, words. and yeah. then all of a sudden it's on your phone. Oh, shit. That could be bright. I mean, you could be walking <laughs> down the street wearing this, and you're not even paying attention, crossing the street, whatever. You'll get freaking run over. We got those glasses on right now. They don't even know. <laughs> 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 That's the new version <laughs> of Siri. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I've been wearing That's the whole time. That's a super beta version. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> the and Bastos. matter of fact, the ladies and gentlemen, I have them right here. Oh, there it yeah. is. Oh, Bastos wow. the barista. Google <laughs> augmented reality glasses. Psych. I wish. <laughs> But, yeah, I think it's going to be a useful product once they work out the kinks. Is it something, uh, obviously, Fresca, you'll wear it, right? I, I want one. I want to try one. But, okay. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of, it sounds scary at the same time just mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. uh, the possibilities of the ridiculous things that could happen. But um sounds cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. I get, I'd rather get that than the stupid smoke book thing. <laughs> 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 Do you get movies on those Netflix and shit? <laughs> I definitely That's want a one. Good question. <laughs> I'd, I'd be sitting here like, Google this. Google me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just definitely did. want one. Okay, so all for it for the yeah. augmented reality glasses. Hell yeah. not, just not for driving or you know like outside walking down the street. It'll be against the law. Yeah. Working out. It would be for <laughs> driving though, because you look to the left and it gives you directions or something. What? You, know, you have to do that before you before you yeah. <laughs> before you All start right. driving. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, <laughs> That's so, cool though. Yeah, it is definitely cool, and hopefully, when they do come out, we'll have it here on the Slam Show to debut Ooh. it with the smoke papers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you and the smoke papers. That's you, dude. That's You're the funny. one who ordered it. Hey, I did not <laughs> order it yet. I was. It's still. It's pending though. Yeah, it's, it's in pending. Your cart. It's in my cart. Oh, that means okay, we, we can wear them on the show because it, it says not right in, in front of stock. Us. You guys yeah. killing me. You're killing me. All like right. having teleprompters, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we no teleprompters here on the Slam Show. Everything yeah, is yes. straight from yeah. oh, yeah. the head. It's, right. the head. it's spontaneous. Spontaneous. <laughs> yes. All yeah. right. That closes out the entertainment segment. We're going to go ahead and take a quick music break. Go a little old school uh. with Master Ace, Born to Roll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 1993, yeah. y'all. What y'all know mm. about that? Exactly. What seven. <laughs> That's 93. Right. I'm going to show the freaking dum -dum. jacket Sticker in a stop. second. Plus the scientific And we're going to play. I got the Born to Roll stick. Wild 107 <laughs> sticker at home, too. So I'll show you that shit next oh week. Oh, my goodness. 99.7's now. Air Personality Fresco be up with their interview. Everyone oh. hang tight here on the Slam yeah. Show. Thank you. Jeez. Dumb dumbs bust the scientific approach to the 
the course and the force is intrinsical. Can you find your way through the lyrics that be catching them? Throw another rhyme across the room, they be fetching them. And they take a loss, take a loss to the master. And I throw his crazy blows and they know I be plastering. All across the room, on the ceilings and the walls too. Punk little suckers didn't know I had the gall to Come around, they block with my cock diesel system And turn it up to ten and then start to diss them And they didn't want to battle if they did When they saw me, they'd have opened up their trunk But they tried to ignore me Hey little suckers, I know you hear me calling you Thought you wanted some, but I see that you're all in two Frontin' ain't no future in your frontin' So let's get it on like Marvin Gaye Take the cash and sit it on the hood of your wick whack Low riding Cadillac Back up your boys and let's start the battle act Like you know, the master ace don't play when it comes to my bass. Ah, check it out, baby, check it out, dog. Check it out, baby, check it out, dog. Check it out, baby, check it out, dog. Check it out, baby. I was born to grow. Robbing down the block like what else should a brother do? It's Saturday, it's Saturday, the heat might smother you. Rolling down my windows, yeah, I have an air conditioner. But I got the sound, I want the whole world to listen to. Waiting at a red light. Kentucky Fried Chicken and blowing very tape and bass crazy chicken and see this Puerto Rican Latin Chico Rico Suave in the red Corolla Ayo hey, does he wanna play pulling up beside me looking like he wanted show me what you got then watch me get up on it holding up traffic but we can't hear they horns cause he got music a grande yeah he got it going on but I think I better school him cause he don't know the time so I'm turning up the boom cause he cannot mess with mine brothers hit me hitting from like 50 blocks away I wanna turn the heads so you know I got to play I Decibels passing through a residential district. See a few cuties and I turn it up like this quick. Meet up, meet up, man. Don't sleep. I got the, I got the, I got the woofers in my Jeep. Check it out, baby. Check it out, dog. Check it out, baby. Check it out, dog. Check it out, baby. Check it out, dog. Check it out, baby. I was born to roll. Check it out, baby. Check it out, dog. Check it out, baby. Check it out, dog. Check it out, baby. Check it out, dog. Check it out, baby. I was Black boy, turn that shit down You know that America don't wanna hear the sound of the bass drum Jungle music, go back to Africa Nigga, I'll arrest ya if you're holding up traffic I'll be damned if I listen, so cop save your breath And write another ticket if you have any left I'm breaking eardrums while I'm breaking the law I'm disturbing all the peace, cause sister soldier said war So catch me if you can, if you can, here's a donut Cause once you drive away, yo, you know I'm gonna go nut And turn it up to where it was before, nice try But you can't stop the power of the bass in your eye I wonder if I blasted a little Elvis Presley Would they pull me over and attempt to arrest me? I really doubt, doubt it, they probably start dancing Jumping on my tip and pissing in they pants and Wiggling and jiggling and grabbing on they pelvis But you know my name, so you never hear no Elvis Strictly the hardcore, dirty street level hits Guards on my side, so watch what the devil gets Positivity, hitting 50 levels deep Coming out the, coming out the woofers in my Jeep Check it out, baby. Check it out, y'all. Check it out, baby. Check it out, y'all. I was born to roll. That's a little Master Ace throwback. Wow. Yeah. That took me back, man. Mm hmm to when I, we were all working together. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. That's the whole reason why I played the track, Fresco, <laughs> so nice. we could all kind of like get back to that innocent era. Innocent? Uh, like, you're innocent? The good old days. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Slam Show. <laughs> no this comment. is <laughs> the exclusive interview segment for our special guest. I'm going to mm. show a little freaking highlight video of her in action. This is from the DL to Arson Catch Me, I'm Balling video <laughs> where she did a extensive cameo a little bit more than lady sage Sa sage was in it like freaking Those are my kids <laughs> 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 I, I had to show the kid thing just Thank to keep you. it on the the simple reel let's give a big round Thank of applause you. for 99.97 now, now. <laughs> and personality <laughs> fresca in the house let's give a big round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. thank you family Welcome. thank you thank you thank now, you now check this out hmm. uh we started around the same time back in the early 90s mm -hmm. doing radio yes. and the internship mm -hmm. and yeah. stuff like that. Now you've kind of catapulted into your own air personality segment that you do mm -hmm. over at the station. But there's Yeah, I don't dress like I'm in, I, I'm in, the, in Cypress Hill anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you're always comfy. Yeah. Being comfortable was the whole key to 
who you were, Fresca. So mm. I, I respected that and everyone else did. So oh, you just you. just do your, you know, laid back thing. It's all gravy. So let's kind of back up to doing all the internship back in the early days mm. of Wild yeah. 107. Yes, yeah. yes. So myself, DJ Stallion, even Pete, we've all had experience on the radio stations mm -hmm. here in San Francisco. At what particular point did you realize that, hey, I want to do this for a living and give it my oh. all, go from being in the research, picking up the phone department, to actually <laughs> being on the air? What, what period really did you kind of like say, I'm going all in with this? Well, you know what? The funny thing is I have a tape, a tape, a cassette tape. Um, when I was like, I think it was like nine, nine years old, eight or nine, and I was uh, pretending I was a radio DJ and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I didn't know I didn't know what I wanted to do, and so um, you know f traditional Filipino families wanted you know you got to be a doctor you got to be an engineer you got to do whatever to be a nurse a nurse yes uh. um, <laughs> <laughs> but long story short um, you know I used to think I could sing so um, <laughs> uh, I started. I wanted to produce beats, basically, and then I got... Um, really? Yeah. You want to be uh, Dr. Dre-ish. Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I had the whole little studio in, in my house. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you got down? Yeah, yeah. I had, like, you know, my drum machine, my sequencer. I was trying to bu buy an M MP... Uh, MP uh, MPC? C. Yeah. For and then... Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had sampler, oh, of my oh. DJ equipment. I had my everything. Awesome. <laughs> I didn't know any of this shit. I've known yes, her for Yes, you did, dude, no. because that's when we used to always be on the phone. Yes. Three hours. You just forgot. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <It's> memory. <laughs> he has memory overload. Yeah. <laughs> or memory loss. <laughs> control, control all delete, Sam. Memory loss. Control okay. all delete. <laughs> oh. But when did, I, when did I think I could make a living out of it? Um, I just enjoyed it so much. Um... I had gone to a music conference, and there was a radio panel. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Chewy was on it. Um, Davey D, who was ro they both were working at. Actually, Chewy was working at Wild at the yeah. time. And, um, and Davey was, Davey D is actually a very good family friend of ours. And um, uh, Mel Thompson from the research department was there as well, as you know who he is. Mm -hmm. And uh, invited me down, and the rest is history, basically. So, um I didn't want to do anything else. As soon as I got into the building, I interned in every department I could possibly get into. I, and I interned in engineering, promotions, sales, production, programming. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was like, I'll answer the front phones. I'll throw away the garbage. I mean, it was like, Pay your dues. just let me be here. Yeah. And, um, and they saw that. And they saw the passion that I, I had with it. It was like every jock wanted me to, uh, to help them in the studio, yeah. which was a very you know, huge honor for me to the point where I was just ditching school, and, um, which wasn't very exciting for my parents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why are you skipping class? What? You did not go to school? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You're doing nothing. Radio, radio. That's nothing. <laughs> that's just like that's just a hobby. I'm like, no, it's not. Holy I shit. love it. I love it. Wow. Music, music. <laughs> so I was like, well, you know what? Yeah. And then finally, when I got uh, invited, or I got, uh, I basically said, you know, my the guys that I'm interning for are going back to Hawaii, and uh, I asked them if they would let me come with them and you know create a, a position for me. And who are they? Uh, the local boys. That's right. Yeah. Alan, Alan Oda and Lanai Tabora, Lanai boy. Uh, they went back to Hawaii. I was interning at the station for about a year at that time. Okay, and, so um, this is actually a, a, a lifestyle change because you're moving. Yeah, yeah. I put my life in two duffel bags and I left. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. I had, That's a major. And I was move. working for seven dollars an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Seven dollars an hour, and uh, but you're at, but you were kind of like at a crossroads because you wanted to go ahead and make a difference and just say, hey, I, I'll just go all in and see where it takes me. Yeah, well, partially it was because my parents, traditional Filipino parents, are very, very strict, and I was 21 years old and I was going out with somebody at the time, and my dad was like, you Who can't use that? you can't use a phone past nine o'clock. <laughs> I was 21. <laughs> <laughs> I was 21 years old. So um, part of it was just like, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of my parents' mm. house. And, um, and then Sage at the same is like, time, yeah, I know how you feel, girl. <laughs> I, I did it at 19. Oh. <laughs> You're two years too late. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was like, okay. Um, that was definitely one of the motivations. But um, yeah, I went out there and uh, did my thing. And then I ended up um, uh, inheriting the number one night show in the uh, Islands. in the market. and Because yeah. uh, Lanai had it. And then... Um, and then by the time I left, you know, and I kept the numbers up. So it was really good. I had, I had a really good time. Yeah, I remember Lanai wearing those freaking skirts. What do you call lava them? Lava lavas. Lava lavas. <laughs> lava lavas. You're like hula hula from Plastic yeah. Man. It, it was crazy because that's when I was doing the mix shows at Wild. Yeah. And I 
right before they went to Hawaii again, uh, I remember going into uh, the on-air uh, studio area. Saturday Night Street parties. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. He Speaking was doing of, I'm um, sorry, your mix shows. Are you going to show your jacket back there? Uh, in due time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and He's going to model like, it. What's that? What Runway style. That? Well, check this out. My buddy, his name is Marv. He usually comes with me. Martin Patton, oh gosh. and he was just talking mad shit to freaking Lanai, like, you know, you're going to have a volcano go up your ass, you keep wearing that skirt or something like that, just way <laughs> off base, wow. like, Lanai was shit. like, okay, all right, yeah. dude, okay. But, but Lanai and Ryan, they were cool about it, but yeah. it was just outrageousness of that time period. Yeah. But yeah, didn't he have a, a didn't he have a nickname? Yeah, Messy Marv. Messy Marv. Messy it has, it's Marv. not not the artist. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Because you were back in uh, I-94, too, in ni- 1995, too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember I was actually out there with yeah. my friend visiting, mm-hmm. and I called you up, and then I, uh, I met the local boys over at the club. Mm-hmm. It was at the Rhythm House. Where was ri- I? Rhythm House. Rhythm you House. Rhythm oh, House. man, that yeah. was the bomb yeah, place Yeah, because you were on the dude. air, and I called up, and then even Eric Bundy was on the air, too, and I, and I went to the club. <gasps> oh, and, right. And uh, Ryan, uh, nights, yeah. Ryan and them were all like blow me up there what's up stallions from the, uh, frisco wild 107 they were blowing me up it was pretty funny <laughs> yeah you're like a super celebrity for a moment there it was yeah. all screaming yeah yeah that was a spot though that was a spot everybody yeah. from the bay would go there yeah. and, what, and what year was this uh, i was there 95 96 yeah. and then i moved december 14th of 97 united airlines yeah well let's talk <laughs> let's talk about the i-94 experience okay. being able to be settled in into a totally new environment was it that big of a culture change because some people oh, they get yeah, island no, fever for sure. and like for wow sure. i'm stuck here and i can't freaking drive anywhere how did you deal with all that oh wow you know it's funny because you know you know me before uh you know when we were working together at, at wall 107 um i was like you know the female uh, the female member of cypress hill so <laughs> you know we're at the uh, it was tomboy to the max you know I didn't know how to wear heels. I didn't know how to put on makeup. I was like fingernails. Like what? Are the, what is that? <laughs> you know, I'm like I, I used to do construction with my dad. I mean, that's what I used to know how to do. So you, you were know? in overalls. Oh yeah, hell yeah, the dude. overall days. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> overalls, cross colors. Come on, yeah. Yeah. just like holy True. shit. <laughs> almost alike. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Merry go round so, dropping there. Merry go round. Oh, oh my no, gosh. the merry go round drop. Yeah. Yes, yes. So um. So, yeah, so when I got out there, um, I was very much like, you know, I was a hip hop DJ. That's all I spun was hip hop, you mm-hmm. know, because I used to, you know, I would DJ in the clubs there actually, too. No way. Yeah, I'd mix in s- at the clubs there, too. Holy shit. Yeah, so I was actually the mix show uh, coordinator for the for the station. I'd, I mixed on the station, too. Okay, okay. Um, but uh, so it w- it w- culturally, it was very different because um, hip hop out there really hadn't. Uh, you know broken out Mm -hmm. so i tried for years to actually get a hip-hop show on there and they finally got it on after i left three years later but um you know just being there and everything was like yo yeah man yo yo yeah check it out you know everything and that's how i spoke sounds like my good friend joey yeah 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 you know (laughs) and uh you know ryan um he was he was a program director and he he was like hey fresh you know um that's not gonna work here the dialogue you're using just the, and the he, my personality he was kind of like i know you have more to give than that i mean that's a part of who you are and i want you to find who you are because i think uh, when you first become a uh, personality like <laughs> you know when you first become a personality sometimes people are like oh i can do that and then they're like um they they be, they basically they they're trying to mimic what they've heard mm-hmm. but not so much be themselves and that's uh, i i know i did that yeah and um but I finally, you know, it was so funny because when I came back from Hawaii, people were like, I had gone to a family party and one of the, one of my father's friends said, who's, who's that with you? Is that, is that your uh, niece? <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, they're like, he's like, no, that's my daughter. And they were like, what? I mean, his friends thought I was a lesbian because of, yes, because some of their friends thought they're like, you know, is she going the other way because. Because of the uh, mullet. <laughs> no because i was so tomboyish like like you know they couldn't the way i walked the way i talked um the what the clothes that i wore the things that i was into mm-hmm. you know um i was always into like martial arts and you know all of that stuff the boxing stuff and they were you know yeah so that's anyways, not girly like that's not sexy that's not traditional filipino daughter yeah stuff. Mm-hmm. yeah so um but the the i really transformed while i was there um uh, just as a person and then and as a personality and I um, by the time I left I was also uh, Lanai and I were um, on the Hawaiian Airlines in-flight audio and video oh, cool. um, yeah so which was really cool and uh, 
And so I got my, my first shot at video um, work and TV out there as well. As well, we got to find that on YouTube, motherfucker. No, you won't <laughs> find that. You won't find it. There's, noth there's none of it. I'm actually trying to get footage. So if you find it, then you got to let me know. I will. I will. Yeah. Right on. So overall, the Hawaiian experience was definitely a, a difference maker. And oh, yeah. how you kind of groomed yourself into becoming an air personality. And oh, just yeah. to kind of like give you that Teflon coat of I could do this and no one's going to stop me. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I was out there for $7 an hour. I worked two jobs there. I was a manager at a at a surf shop. Didn't even know how to surf, but I needed, <laughs> I needed money. Blue crush. And they were like, hey, and we need somebody. So let's, do, <laughs> you know, let's have you in here. And yeah. Um, <laughs> and so basically... Um, I remember, and I tell this story being very humbled by it, I remember um, I didn't have any money. I was really broke. Mm -hmm. And I was living in this studio apartment that was so small that if you were to go use the bathroom, your knees would hit the wall. That's oh. how small it was. And There's some places like that in literally, Frisco. <laughs> yeah, well, I was living in something like that <laughs> in Hawaii. And um, I remember going to the, dr to the drive through but I didn't have a car, so I walked through the drive through because the main um, restaurant area was closed. Uh, Taco Bell and uh, and I walked there and um, I went and I paid with as much change as I could find in mm -hmm. my in my uh, wallet and um, I ate half I had a taco and I asked them for um, just a chilled chilled water because I had like no furniture I had no plates no cups no nothing and um, I ate half of it for dinner and I put half of it away in the uh in the refrigerator and then I ate half of it for breakfast the next day and you know that kind of lifestyle when people say oh my gosh you're in radio and you're in tv you must have so much money you must and it's like dude I ate half a taco for dinner man and half the other half for breakfast like that is not I'm here because I love radio I'm here because I, this is what I love to do and I'm gonna I'm gonna make my make something of myself in this business so wow yeah wow that's the real deal right there yeah yeah, and not a lot of people know that story. But. And that's a good eye-opening, uh, transparent uh, description of yeah. how it is really with radio. Because like you were just saying, they think it's all glitz and glamour oh, and yeah. hose and clothes. But <laughs> there's a lot of freaking <laughs> like sacrifice oh, yeah. in order just yeah. to keep your job. Yeah, and being a woman in radio is another a whole other story. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That, I bet that could be kind of interesting. To the crew, I'm going to ask Fresco one question. And after that, we'll get your guys' questions. Uh when it comes down to being a woman yeah. in radio, mm -hmm. what are some of the major obstacles that you see are vividly different from how a guy has to go through? Mm. Well, on my, because I was a mixer, um, people were kind of like, yeah, right, dude. Like, what do you know? You know, and, mm -hmm. um, and I came through the business more on the technical side of things. So, um, you know, they would kind of test me on like, oh, what kind of equipment do you have? You know, and I'd be like, oh, I have a little studio in my house. Well, what do you have? You know, and then I'd name off all of the equipment that I had. And they're like, what? Really? And I'm like, yeah, you know what? You need, you need help wiring your stuff? I'll help you. You know, that kind of stuff. And, and, they, were like, and they were like, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you know, and they're like, well, what do you think about this? Or what kind of needles do you use for this? I say, oh, well, I, when, I, when I mix, I'll use these. If I want to scratch, I'll use these. I suck at scratching now. But, um, you know, and they were like, oh, wow, that's cool. I'm like, yeah, go, you know, you put a quarter on it. <laughs> <laughs> when it starts mm. to go low, you know, and, uh, you know, you'll, you'll uh, kind of mess up your vinyl that way. But, you know, whatever. But, you know, so that, that's, well, that was one thing. They always try to test me kind of thing on my knowledge of hip-hop music or mm -hmm. music music in general and um and then of course there's those artists that don't take you for don't take you um seriously or they think you know i'll just what's, be up, what's up you want to go my hotel yeah exactly and i'm <laughs> like uh no and there have been a couple of artists that have you know black put them uh, on blast right here on, the on blast show. okay rl from next <laughs> uh he was one uh yeah you no know there's just <laughs> wow <laughs> So I remember they they were like, uh, "Hey, dude, you know you want to go?" And I'm like, oh, "No, thank you." I go, I, "I have a um, I have a, I have a final tomorrow, so I'm studying. So I'm sorry. Thank you for the invitation." Really, you didn't use I have a, a man at home sort of deal. You just said I have school work, and it worked. No, well, it's funny because my other friend goes, "You know, she has a boyfriend, right?" <laughs> 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 well, that was the next thing I was gonna say, but yeah. And then um, uh, one of the guys from 90 Degrees asked me out one time, and I uh, I didn't go. When we were, I was living in Hawaii. Sounds like you regretted so. that one. Did you yeah. say 98 degrees? 90 Is degrees. that the one with Nick, Nick Lachey? Lachey? Yeah. yeah. So was it Nick Lachey? No, it was okay. Jeff. Okay. Jeff. Jeff asked me to oh. go to dinner. 
Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he wanted some pinay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was, was kind of like, oh, I was I was moving, and uh, I wanted I was gonna hang out at the club, and you know they didn't want to go, so I go, well, you know what, I'll call you guys. So I called them at the hotel, and I was like, hey, you know, I don't know if you guys want to come, but um, I'm kind of at a farewell thing because I'm moving. So if you guys want to come through and. Um, they got sunburned from riding um, mopeds that day, <laughs> so they didn't come. But uh, yeah, so that that's definitely one of the things that uh, you know artists think you want to just sleep with them, and uh, and some of the guys just don't really believe that you have the skills to do stuff. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah, Sage, do you have a question for Fresca? Well, she pretty much answered all my questions. So I'm going to have to improvise. <laughs> um, you know, I guess radio is your passion. What will you be doing besides radio if it, you know, that it didn't work out oh I, I would love to act I would love to um, I actually uh, when I was working mornings at KSFM um, that didn't work out <laughs> so I and I quit and that was the first time I was like that I second-guessed my abilities um, that was kind of a crazy time for me um, and I, I quit and I was like I'm out of here um, but I was doing TV at the time as, as well working at uh, TFC I was doing a, I was hosting a show called Stateside um, and then I was uh, commuting from the Bay to LA trying to uh, trying to get a stunt stunt career going because I wanted Ooh. to do stunts um, yeah. in Hollywood so yeah. uh, I did I actually did one stunt show for Sony I got to um, be part of uh, a crew that was a look-alike for Charlie's Angels and nice. so yeah I was the Drew Barrymore um, look-alike no, I'm just joking um, <laughs> yeah I'm like but she's blonde yeah I know. I'm like I'm just joking <laughs> so yes yeah, so I was a Lucy Lou look-alike um, and we got to work with um, my uh, coordinator uh, was the stunt double for Jada Pinkett in The Matrix and uh, our stunt um, uh, our fight coordinator was actually um, trained Wesley Snipes for Blade and he was in G.I. Joe and all that other stuff and I got to do wire work and stuff nice. like that too nice. so I, I really wanted to get into that acting and that I, I wish I was able to pursue that but I had kids any I had kids anyways so oh, okay. I mean I should say I had kids instead so would you yeah. still want to do it now oh yeah you have for the sure. opportunity I mean, oh yeah most definitely I you mean, said I, you want to be a ninja so yeah I know yeah. let's go let's do I it <laughs> <laughs> let's do, I'm a ninja in my heart yes yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. this is the best job ever yeah cool. yeah for sure that's my secret All that job. undercover <laughs> stuff Pete and Salyan yo yo okay yeah. so cool. what is your most memorable moment in radio from the time you started till now ooh wow like crazy sh stuff off memorable the wall memorable moment um just because this is this kind of stands out in my mind right now um, is when I was about to leave and move away from Hawaii. I had spoken um, about a, probably a month before at a high school, and I became really good friends with one of the um, with one of the students. And you know, she was she listened to the show all the time, and she's the one that invited me to come speak at her class at a career class. And um, it was by Pahu High School in Hawaii. And um, it was really nice because I had gone out to the campus and they had this big sign that was like, Welcome Fresca of I-94. And they had all the students sign it. And um, I spoke in a classroom probably with about 80, 80 students and um, just such a warm welcome. So when they heard that I was leaving, uh, I was at one of their rallies um, and uh, they announced to the whole school that I was leaving and there were actually students crying. Um, wow. and, uh, and was just saying how much that they were going to miss me. And, how, and I realized at that point that uh, I actually um, were a part of people's lives and, um, and that they can really relate to me. And that I was, I was like, you know, that they can find me as somebody that was, that was real to them and that they can, that was a friend. And, um, and so that was a very, very um, happy moment for me. And uh, that's what I really try and do, you know, is, is uh, let people know that um, I'm just like them, you know, and, and, um, I have struggles just like everybody else and uh, want to be a voice for them. And I try to speak at at risk with uh, at risk youth organizations and stuff like that and reach out to the community. Nice. So, nice. Yeah. I thought you were going to say some like after party with freaking Cypress Hill or something. <laughs> <laughs> like that. One. Yeah. When Muggs asked me out. No, <laughs> just kidding. No, Crystal he Pete. never did. <laughs> hey, so uh, back in the wild days, yeah. um, was there anybody there that had like a really good influence on you? Um, at wild? Mm -hmm. At Wild. Um, 107 or 90 part of 9? Pete Fonseca. <laughs> well, both. I, mean, uh, I started you know, there when it, right when they made the change. You know, I, when I was coming up in radio, um, Rosary from Kimiel was actually yeah. Yeah. my, um, like, idol. I loved her. You know, I loved her voice. I loved her personality. Um, and the funny thing is we worked in the same building forever, you know, because Kimiel was, you know, on the third floor or fourth floor. 
We're on the third uh, floor? Fifth. Fifth. Fifth floor? We were on the third. We were yeah. on the third. Okay, I forgot already. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting old. Um, <laughs> and I never met her, but that was that was who I wanted to be like. I wanted to be just like her. What cool. about Renee Taylor? But that was... That was uh, the, Renee Taylor that, was like no nonsense, man. She was oh, like, big time. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. was just like, you know what? If you step into my studio, you better re- oh. you better respect y- yeah, my space. Right. Yeah. You know, she you're was right. like, I'm about my business. So that's true. Over here to waste my time, get out of my face. But when yeah. we were when yeah. we were yeah. in the same building, I remember that. right? Yeah, and she just can look at you, and you're just like, okay, I'm oh. gonna go. I'm gonna go now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm yeah. Uh, what about the, the, the Green Street days? You know. Yeah. Because we were the only one in that building. Green Street. Um. The the and they had the research. Yeah. The kitchen. Yeah, that was a day. You know, yeah, Mike, Michael yeah. Martin was in the mix. Yeah, I worked in the kitchen yeah, on yeah, the, the phone kitchen. lines of the kitchen. I was always in the kitchen. <laughs> and I have pictures of those too. Do yeah. you? I want to see that. I gotta look for them though. Oh my god! I didn't yeah. like Green Street. Too you many, like too kitchen? many parking tickets out there. Oh, you know what? It's <laughs> funny how you say that because the meters. Yes, I I accumulated like eight hundred dollars worth of tickets. So did and I. I had oh. to do, yeah, and I had to do um. And I was an service. intern working for free. Me damn it. too. I was working for free too, and I had to I had to do public um. Uh, what is that like? Community, community service. service. Community yeah. service. Yeah. hundred yeah. something hours. It was like a full time job. That's when I started taking Bart. <laughs> but see what's cool about what it happened because my show I didn't start till like ten o'clock I at know, night. I know, dude. You got so lucky. So I dipped man. in at nine. But when we had <laughs> meetings and stuff, um, somebody taught me to take a you know tab off. Oh, the tab. Preston was it? Yeah, Preston. Yeah, Preston was Preston it. Chang. Put it in the thing. <laughs> yes. And turn the knob, and then it would break the meter. Yes, and, and it would just be stuck on um on a full yeah full time. So that's then. how we used to do. Wow. Yeah. That, that I never knew about that secret. Oh yeah, it was. Oh yeah, you, you, and you had to kind of sand it on the ground with your foot. Yeah. <laughs> you had to like move it back and forth on your oh, under your shoe. Yeah. You guys uh, are awesome. Yeah, that's well, ghetto. Well, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> it's really called that. You know, we're ghetto. Mm. So that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's called street smart. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Sage. That's a more um, poetic say, way to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> say that. We're gonna go ahead and take a quick music break and be back for our second interview with. Fresca, and this time we're going to give her the vaunted Q&A here oh on the Slam man, Show. I'm you guys, scared. You guys stay <laughs> tuned. <laughs> I'm scared. X. They was wrong when they said ain't nothing new under the sun Cause everything under the sun has not been done What they shouldn't miss Don't miss your car The biggest chance you can take is not taking the chance at all Like who you wanna like Love who you wanna love Kiss who you wanna kiss Hug who you wanna hug Latin, white, black Fat, tall, small Opposite of trap Whatever it's on y'all I came in the game with a hope and a wish With no bait on my hook Trying to catch a fish Trying to have meals Four courses Got hella ideals but no resources Don't let them knock your motivation, keep trying. keep trying. You're probably just ahead of your time. Like me. me. They told me I never progress and beat. Be. Come. Come. When I am today, them niggas dead. dead. Run. Run. You gotta be original. Just be you. Just, just be. You. Take a chance to show the world you. Just show the world you. You, uh. you gotta be original. Just be you. Be you. Just be you. Just be you. Take a chance to show the world you. Just be you. Be you. We gon' jump. No Timbo's And no, I never had no afro But I still keep everything natural So many people wanna look alike And act the same But what's the price? When you got no game, they won't let you play You're too stingy, you shouldn't act that way Cause you gon' have to pay If you don't speak your mind, you've been a follower a long time Stop lying and just be yourself Ain't nothing wrong with that You got racks, you must be on some crack Cause the last time I checked, you were struggling Had a whole lot of bad luck to get back on track like you need to Stop following the crew and be you, nigga You gotta be original You gotta be Just be you, just be you. Take a chance yeah. to show the world you Just be you, just be you oh. You gotta be original Just be you, be you. just be, be, you. be you Take a chance to show the world you, you. Come to follow trends, you won't. You got your own mind and your own ideals. Refuse to be like everybody else, for real. So original, like me. Creative and unique, people love the way I speak. They hate it on the sun, other man up above. Anything different, they're afraid of. 
coming through hard again. We got chains and pieces, new cars and rims. It's C40 short dog in them. A lot of hustlers, gangsters, and all the pimps. It sounds good when you turn it up loud. Do it your way and rock your style, your hair, your clothes. Even your smile, they gon' love you. Cause you're so original. You gotta be original. You gotta be. Yeah, brand new E40, Just Be You, featuring Too Short and Jay Banks. You guys feeling that? Yeah. yeah. Listen, listen, to that bay, listen to that Bay style, man. That's Bay Heat. It's mm. always Bay like Heat. like that. Got to make it Bay Heat. Welcome back to the Slam Show. This is the Q&A mm. segment. <laughs> Ooh, are you ready? I'm scared, man. I'm going to go ahead and kick it off. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, boy. Don't All be right, scared. Go. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'll Here we go. Take the fifth. <laughs> I'll take the fifth, like, right now. No, 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 no. You're going to have to answer transparently <laughs> and right. truthfully. Okay. Number one, have you ever been involved in a threesome? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Would you like to? No. <laughs> no. I just had to throw that in. No. Thank you, Sage. <laughs> Thank you for asking, though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Stallion, go. Well, that was uh, Girlfriend the, the next question. Would. If you did, would you do it again? But you didn't do it. Would you like to do it in the future? No, no, I'm not. No, no. I want my man just for me. Ooh. So if somebody else wants to get involved, they're going to have to uh, see the door. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. That's the way to do it. That's right. All right. Number three. At what age did you lose your virginity? 15. 15? Mm -hmm. I was a sophomore. Okay. Was it memorable? It was like in the springtime. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely memorable. It was just in the springtime. Spring. Oh, was it? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking back real quick. Okay, wait, what? <laughs> did you have like a good, good overall memory of it? No, I. Oh yeah, no, I. I'm one of those people that have um, one of those photographic memories, so I like re really remember things. And um, yeah, I remember it. Okay. <laughs> okay. It. I remember it. All it. right. Yeah, it was. I was just like, that's it. Mm. Like, that, like that's <laughs> like that's the thing everyone's been talking about. Like, oh. and, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It was just kind of like I was scared, you know. I was like more nervous. I think that's why. Gotcha, gotcha. Because you know? I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not supposed to be doing this, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. But I'm gonna yeah. do it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where was it at? I mean, you were 15. Was it at home? Like, it was at my house. Oh, uh, where were your parents at? Uh oh, uh, they were not downstairs. <laughs> it was very. It was late at night, and. Uh, he snuck into the window. Yeah, yeah. Uh, back door kind of deal. <laughs> what? Back door? That, I, Stallion, <laughs> give me a moment. I was going to say, not that back door, you perv. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, you're, an you're an answering the questions. And so you guys had to be all quiet. <laughs> yeah, no. Mom and dad are downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was scary. I was scared. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of back door, what is your favorite sexual position? <laughs> not the back door. I, I have to say that I've never tried that. That's good. Um, it's bastos. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Let me think. Probably. <laughs> it, you know, it, I go in phases. Go, go in phases. seasons, different seasons, different yeah. positions. Yeah. Doggy now, missionary. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, let's just say that. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Get All right. Say that. Number five, what's yeah. your favorite foreplay activity? Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there Sorry, goes our photographic memory. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, pornographic memory. Oh man, I really don't like seeing this. Can we pass on that? No, please? no, 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 no. Because, no, because it was it's some a very alignment. private. It's a, It's kind of. It's very private to me. Like Your dad is don't care at this point. You know what I mean? No, it's it's um. Oh, I'd like to pass on that, please. I like to pass on that. That's something that's very, very private. No one passes in this show. What? Oh, <laughs> Nobody you got passes. Sage. You got Ninja Sage. Shoot. It's all good. She can tell us later. <laughs> Fresca oh, can. She can pass. Man. Maybe I'll just blurt it out, and then you'll be like, "What?" <laughs> like out of nowhere. Like, Bleep what Tourette's. Yeah. Later on. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll give you a pass. <laughs> okay. Thanks. People are listening. <laughs> okay. People don't care. They don't want to know. <laughs> all right. Right. Number six. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever know. faked an orgasm? Yeah. That was quick. Yeah. Because I was like, okay, can this end now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that was great. Okay, I'm leaving. No, I'm kidding. Did you come, <laughs> did you come Frisca? <laughs> oh, oh, that's awful. That's disgusting. Damn. Bastos. See, I told uh. you that accent is disgusting. Damn. Oh, that's like the, like, pervy tatang. 
<laughs> he, you're really good at making accents. You know that? Me? I can't believe it. Go, let me hear it. Like what? He just did one. Kind of accent. Uh, that one. was him. No, go, go. No, that wasn't me. You fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, really? Shoot, that was like that was like some kind of ventriloquist stuff. Going okay, I could just do Beavis. That's all. Number seven. <laughs> have you ever had a one night stand? No. Liar. No. <laughs> Two night. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> really? Straight up. Straight up. Okay. All right. Fair All right. Um, which three celebrities would you most like to have Channing sex Tatum. with? <laughs> <laughs> Channing Tatum. Female. I'm just kidding. Oh, go ahead. Female? No, I'm like, kidding. I go ahead. No, 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 no. That's no, nothing. No, no, I was no, kidding. No, no, no. Go ahead. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Channing Tatum. <sighs> let me think. Wow. That's like. Tyson Bifford. Um. Those are your Ben Sam. Diesel. Those are Sam. Nah, man. The Rock. Ben, ew. Oh, The Rock is cute, but nah. I could pass on him. Really? Yeah. Would you sleep with him? Nah, I'd pass on him. <laughs> I'd be like, nah. Nah. He's not enough man for me. Oh! <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he's a very good looking guy. I was really into The Rock at one time. Um, I, don't, I can't, you know, I'm so, oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. I like him. Really? I like him, yeah. Okay. I mean, physically, he looks really nice. I think he's really good looking. Um, and probably... Um, Hugh Hefner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember him looking young. The most yeah. <laughs> the most he's always been in the world. Gosh. Okay. He's the third one? Old. I don't third know. One. Uh, Nick Lachey. I like his body. Really? Yeah. So you wish he asked you out over in that little 98 degrees escapade. Jeff yeah. is actually a cute guy, but um, no, I'm good. Didn't he win Dancing with the Stars? Something. His brother did. Yeah. His brother. The did. first one. Yeah. The first one ever they had, right? Nick Lachey or his brother? His brother. It was his Drew. Brother. It was Drew. Drew. It, it was oh, yeah. Drew that won it on the very first season of Dancing oh, with the Stars. Oh, was that the first season? I believe so. Oh. I thought it was I Mario Lopez. Oh. Uh, second or... He's cute, too. It's one of the <laughs> early ones. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute, too. Yeah. All right. Number nine. Kay. What's the kinkiest kind of sex you ever had? You know, honestly, I've never used toys, so I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to have kinky sex with toys. So oh, that's when I think kinky, I think that. Like some prop. Yeah, prop. <laughs> nah, man. Never did Never did the handcuff stuff. Never did the tying up. Never like did... No candles? Studio? No. What, no what beads? Do you mean candle? No. <laughs> nah, man. I remember <laughs> the first time I, I had seen something like that, like on a porno. I was like, is she putting that in there? Like, that is disgusting, dude. <laughs> Sam was wearing those the other day. <laughs> <laughs> then he put them uh, on his neck. Ugh. And he's got a. <laughs> where are they, Sam? And he's wearing them now. No. Hey, so go to ISIS's. Uh, what's ISIS's uh, thing going on? The <laughs> oh, uh, website? No. Go to that, and you'll see what, what that's all about. What, the bead thing? Oh, man. They, she. Uh, Pete comes out of there, too. They have some guys <laughs> suspended in the air on <laughs> chains, insane. all hogtied. Oh, and, God. You know, and that they're just really and ramming painful. them with stuff. Sam, like, yeah, that doesn't sound Pete, very. This is a family show, Pete. Appealing. Oh, it is? Or I should say, like, <laughs> like pleasurable. That sounds painful. I'm with you on that. I yeah. don't like those. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've yeah. never, I, you know, like I, no, that just isn't, that's a turn off to me. Sam's got his beads, but they're hidden now. Where were they, Sam? Pull them out. Hiding okay. in hide, um, never mind. <laughs> I'm going to get you, Stallion. Close it out. You're going to get me? <laughs> Dude. All right. <laughs> so it's number 10. We're yeah, done. Number 10. Okay, good. <laughs> do you own, do you own a sexy underwear, any of them, or how often do you wear them? Or do you have any on now? Uh, that was sexy a question? underwear. <laughs> I have, I have, uh, yeah, I have some. Of course she does. I have some. Yeah. I mean, the last time. Well, some of them don't wear any. He's actually time. asking if you have crotchless panties or something like that, That's right? That's you. Crotchless <laughs> panties, I don't have. Cochino Pete. I don't have that. <laughs> I have the ones that are like, um, the that you wear, ties. the garter ones. The so that it's, it, it actually comes in the garter. Oh. Like that. And those are, and then, yeah. So that with the whole get up. Nice. Kind of thing. Yeah. Nice. And I've only used it one time. Ooh. One time. Keep right, it fresh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Fresca, thank you for being such a good sport <laughs> on the Slam Show Q&A. Thank &A. you. Thank you. Uh, you were very like interesting red. with a couple of them. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. You uh, wrote it. You wrote it. I know. I know. Dirty oh, Fastos. Man. We're going to go ahead and take a one final break and be back with the props and shout Props? Outs. All right. Yes. Y'all are crazy, by the props? way. Props? And <laughs> the giveaway. Sweepstakes. Yeah. And right here sweepstakes. on the Slam Show. <laughs> yeah. Sweepstakes. He said sweepstakes. One million dollars. <laughs> take your places you ain't never been before. Baby, take a chance so you'll never ever know. I got money in my hands that I really like to bless. Swipe, swipe, swipe on oh, you. Yeah. Tell them by the fire while we eating fondue. I don't know about me, but I know about you. So say hello to Falsetto in three, two, swipe. I like to be everything you want. Hey, girl. 
let me talk to you. If I was your boyfriend, never let you go. I could be a buzz light, yeah, fly across the globe. I don't ever wanna fight, yeah, you already know. I'ma make you shine bright like you're laying in the snow. Bar. Girlfriend, girlfriend, you could be my girlfriend. You could be my girlfriend into the upper world. Yes, make you dance to a spin in a trail. And boys going crazy on a hook like a whirlwind swaggy. I'd like to be everything you want. Hey, girl, let me talk to you. If I was your boyfriend. Never let you go Keep you on my arm, girl You'd never be alone And I could be a gentleman Anything you want If I was your boyfriend I'd never let you go I'd never let you go So give me a chance Cause you're all I need yeah. Spend a week with your boy I'll be calling you my girlfriend If I was your man, I was your man. I'd never be a girl. I just wanna If love I and treat you right. I don't give a fuck what you guys think. <laughs> this song is fucking dope. I know Boyfriend. you like Justin Bieber. I saw you. I didn't know you. Why do you have a poster of him in your living room? You're trying to throw me. <laughs> uh, it's all autographed and shit. I'm like, what? Dude, he was like 15 in that picture, too. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just joking. We Everyone, I'm just joking. I just, do like that song, too. It is. It is. Freaking Pete's like, oh, man, I, yeah, I'm liking this. Your boyfriend. No, I do. My, my, my daughter loves it. Oh, you can't beat that. Yeah. Aww, yeah, All right. Love him too. This is the Slam Show Shouts and Plus as we always begin with the lovely lady Sage. Take it away. Thank you. Well, Fresca, we enjoy having you here. Aww, so shout out you. to you, girlfriend. You're the only one that got ready in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I moved in. I moved in. I'm, I brought all kinds of stuff. Anytime, come back with, with your <laughs> lashes. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Thank and you. And of course, to all our sponsors, we appreciate you guys all equally. I'm going to name, name some of you guys. Real quick, so it's Bay M&A, uh, Marketing and Advertising, Perfect Tan, Drinkware, all of our affiliates also, Fan TV. Thank Sh you. Shouts out to you, Chef Wayne. Hey, by the way, when are we going to be on the cooking show? Oh, man, we're, we're definitely uh, scheduling folks over, so we're definitely going to be uh, just wanted working to with you guys. Just wanted to put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah, well, we can talk about that later, but yeah, we just finished working on a pilot. So. Cool. And of all course... Right, chili. Of course, the <laughs> built, yeah. built to grind family shouts out to you, DL, Donna. Yes. I'll see you soon for my photo shoot. Um, our staff here in studio, Slam and Sam, Pistol Pete, DJ Stallion, of, co of course, Johnny Ringo, listening right now. That's right. That's right. Beautiful, beautiful. Pistol Pete, take it away with your shouts and plugs. All right. Well, it's really good to be back. Uh, Fresca, yes. shout out to you, Sam, you. Sage, Stallion. All the wonderful sponsors out there, um, Kinders, Liquid Nitro, you know, uh, Mellows, and all oh, everybody, you know, yes. uh, Perfect Tan. <laughs> There's and too many. And yes. Redux. There's too damn and many. And everybody you get drinkware. You, sorry. Oh my gosh, there there's so go. many. You have a new one here, like some vodka. What the heck is that? That's awesome. <laughs> Cream Vuko. Hey, that sounds great. Vuko. <laughs> I want to uh, say hi to Rhea and um, yeah, my baby. new friend. And yeah, uh, I'm hoping that all of you guys will come with us on May 2nd to um, Filipino Heritage Night. Yeah. Because I hope they go. Fam TV is probably going to be there. Hopefully, Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, yes. because Pistol Pete needs to show his Filipino side. Yep. Yeah. And I'm a huge Giants fan. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Stallion, take it away. All right, co-host Pistol Pete, welcome back. Lady Sage, Slam and Sam, special guest, blast from the past, Fresca. Yeah. What's up? Thanks for coming out and hanging with us. BTM me, Melo's Pizza, Kinder, thanks for the food, guys. Fig Tree Vuku Vaca, Natural Live Food. Thanks, Alex, for the hookups. Liquid Nitro, Perfect Tan, Niner Empire, Drink Wear. And my parents are listening online right now and Savage, too. <laughs> hi, Mom and Dad. Yeah, yeah. hi, Mom and Dad. 
Bye. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fresca, you take it away. Oh my gosh, I'll try to make this fast. Uh, definitely no, take your time. Yeah, we got time. The ninety nine seven now family. Thanks so much, uh, especially to Michael Martin who hired me again. So. Eminem. Eminem, local Eminem. Yes, That's right. And Jazzy Jim, of course, everybody on the air staff. Thanks so much for all the love. Um, oh man, built to grind. I mean, I don't want to leave anybody out. They're, they are definitely my my family first and foremost. I love you guys, man. And I, DL to Arson, Shirley. I mean, and I apologize because we didn't go into that enough. So why don't you briefly talk about built to grind and the whole movement behind that? Oh man, built to grind. First of all, really stands for anybody who really is on their grind, who doesn't give up, who um, represents themselves as a hard worker uh, in a very honest light, and and uh, and just really is there to um, to you know work hard and, and achieve their dreams. That's what built to grind is about. So if you're on your grind, that means that you are um, all about you know making your dreams happen. You know you don't stop until you get where you want to be, and from there there's another journey. So it's you never, you never stop, you know, and it's that's endless. It it's is limitless. endless. It, yes, definitely. And uh, so much love to um, to DL and the Built to Grind family because what they stand for, you know, what DL stands for, and you know, and it's, it makes me happy to see that people are starting to really understand what that what that means, what Built to Grind means, and to wear those hoodies that that um, that are out there with pride, you know, because really, you you are representing yourself when you put that on, you know. And I I wear mine with pride when I'm in the gym. I'm like that hell. Hell yeah, I'm built to grind, man. I'm in here putting my work in here, you know? I'm a single mother. I got two kids. Hell yeah, I'm grinding on that. Fuck, I'm feeling you know that, man. Saying? I'm like, my hair's that's standing right. up. Yeah. No, that that's shit. right. And you, and, you know, so when you're out there and you're working hard, you're on your grind. So I'm feeling that. Yeah. And the whole family does. The whole family does. From videography to, you know, you know photography to writing to, of course, music. Ace is awesome i mean he makes beats like you don't even know mm -hmm. and heads and psh, dude she's she you ask her to, to look something up and just, boom she got it in like two seconds you nice, know nice. and shirley's always there to like you know definitely oversee stuff and dl i mean he just is the captain of everything so you know and it, which is awesome and it, we definitely all work as a family and um and i don't want to leave anybody out but i, I should just say the whole the built a grind yes. family before i start doing all that stuff so but thanks yeah Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right. can I just say thank you to my trainers too? Yeah, go close yeah. out all the personal fresca uh, props. physique magnifique out there in South San Francisco, and my uh, my personal trainers are training me for a figure competition. Um, oh, really? Yeah. And so when's this? Um, I'm hoping to get into a competition sometime at the end of the summer. Oh, so we're there. We're gonna come out and support yeah, guys. So yes. it's it's. <laughs> Diet is really hard, but um, you know, hello to Jim Wilson and Futaba Takashima, and uh, so I'm starting to post some some pictures up on um, Facebook and stuff of my body, like just transforming and Excellent. stuff like that. Yeah, so um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Hi, GB, um, miss you, love you. <laughs> out of my daughters, uh, Isabella and Alexia, mommy loves you. Um, uh, please support the Alzheimer's Association. My mother is ill with Alzheimer's. I am her caregiver in the evening time, so um, which is really tough. Uh, so please support and please support the um, Epilepsy Foundation as my daughter's epileptic. So um, and I guess that's about it. That's about it. Well said. And thank you to all of you. You're welcome. Because, man, welcome. it is so much fun. <clears throat> So much fun, and I, I want to get a tan like Sage. Oh, I'm gonna need that perfect tan. Yes, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that for my figure competition. Yeah. <laughs> come see Jocelyn. So. Hi, Jocelyn. <laughs> I'm come see you. All right, all yeah, right. Thanks, guys. Love you. Love you guys. All oh, cool. Thank cool. You. I'll go ahead and close out the shouts. I want to thank my entire crew: Lady Sage, Pistol Pete, DJ Stallion, obviously our wonderful guest, my good friend from way back in the music industry, Fresca. Thank you for taking the time to come out here and hanging thank out you. with us. Yeah. I forgot one. one Go thing. ahead. Oh, sorry, sorry. Fan TV, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fan TV. Dean, man. Yes. What's up, Dean? How to Wayne? Uh, what's up to my boy, Henry? I'm so sorry, dude. Like, I can't believe I even, like, left that out. Like, man, Dean is, like, Dean is the Dean is the dude, man. And also I had a man. Joey. Joey Gila. He's not part of Fan TV, but that's my boy. So, uh, yes. Make sure to go to fantv.tv. Also to uh, builttogrind.com. And that the, the two in Built to Grind is the number two. Builttogrind.com. Perfect. 997.com. There you go. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I want to thank all of our sponsors and affiliates. There's so many to name, so I'm just going to do a blanket statement. Thank you very much for all your support. Everyone in the chat room that's interacting with us, keep that going every week. We'll try to give the shouts out to all you from all Henry, Shirley, 
Joe from Niner Empire, DL, all you cats, thank you for interacting with us. Uh, also, whoever's not in the chat room that's just kicking it, wants to be anonymous and wa watching the show, keep tuning in every Monday, and we keep doing what we do yeah. here on the Slam Show. All right, to close it out, we're going to go ahead and do our little sweepstake slash raffle. Ooh. And this winner will get a cool Slam Show TV, e TV EPN prize. So without further ado... We'll go ahead and give the bowl to the lovely Fresca to shake up oh, and yeah. pull out a name and give it to Lady Sage. Oh, my God. While, while, while they're doing that, while I'm sorry. While she's shaking that, I forgot to say a special shout out to Jason <laughs> Doobie. Sorry, Scattered Jason Comics. Jason Doobie. Yes. Jason Doobie. And I forgot to say hi to my kids. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> hi, DJ Jason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And while they're shaking that, you can go on iTunes and listen to the podcast if you don't like to watch. You can listen and drive. At yeah, the same you can time. hear DJ Stallion's sexy voice in a monotone. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Give it a shot. There. And hi, Junior and Antonio. Okay. <laughs> and I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dun, 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 drum roll, and the winner is there. You go, Brandon Tello, and I believe that's Hefes, Hefet Tello's son, or I think. All right, congratulations, Yay, Brandon! Brandon. Yay, Yay, Brandon. Brandon! You win a TV EPN The Slam Show prize, and we'll get that to you ASAP. So contact me, or else you won't get it. Exactly. <laughs> and in order to go. be part of the raffle, all you have to do is go to our fan page and click like. And you will automatically be in a drawing. If you don't win it on a particular week, we keep recycling your name. So you'll always have a chance oh, to cool. yes. have an opportunity to win. All right. That closes out the show here for this particular episode, April 9th. Oh. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Yeah. No Jocelyn Enriquez? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
No one holds me down like you do, sweetheart. You keep doing that. I keep doing this. We'll be all right then. Trust that. <laughs> We put the us to trust, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 